in the Stride Vision TV athletic series for the 2022-2023 season. As we said, it's a beautiful day here at Excelsior High. Quite colorful as well. Okay, the banners are fluttering in the gentle wind that is blowing across the field. I urge all of you to enjoy your life. The precious moments you and, uh, have today to spend each day be a with some laughter day and some in thought. Terms of you should have field. your emotions move to tears. Louis Zamperini. He's just extraordinary. His whole life was about all the lessons he learned from the resilience of the human spirit. To persevere, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. A very good morning and welcome once again here at Excelsior High School and uh, you're watching Stride Vision TV. My name is Roger Haspel and we'll be providing for you today coverage on the 24th staging of the Wesley Powell track and field meet. It's the first in the Stride Vision TV athletic series for 2022-2023 and the event is well and truly on the way. We just had the completion of the girls class 2 150 meters. The next event on the track will be the boys class 2 150 meters and there are 12 events or 12 finals to be contested here and this is a time final event meaning the time that comes out on top overall will be declared the winner. It's a beautiful day here at Excelsior High School. Sun is out in all its glory. The feather banners on the infield fluttering in the gentle wind. A lot of greenery here at Excelsior High School. One of our traditional high schools here in Jamaica. And of course this event was named in honor of the legendary principal, Mr. Wesley Powell. And uh, Excelsior would have produced prominent Jamaicans over the last close to a century. Notably in uh, track and field, we have the likes of a Neville Mighton, who I think held the national Re junior record for 800 meters for years, the late Neville Mighton. The late Arthur Wint had a stint here at Excelsior as well, back in the 1930s. Olympian Gregory Horton, another prominent athlete out of Excelsior. Of course, Excelsior High School, they are one of only two schools in track and field history in Jamaica that would have won both the boys and the girls championships. The other school being St. Jago High. And the likes 
of a David Riley and Michael Vassell over the past decade or so have been implementing a solid program here at Excelsior High School to return them to the glory days sometime in the near future. This is one of their staple events. This is one of the also traditional development meets having started back in 1998. A long standing event, 24 years and running. Just to tell you that you can catch us and share the links on our YouTube page. That's Stride Vision TV. And of course, our Facebook page. As the crew busily work behind the scenes to get the picture up and running. So we are standing by, as we said, for the running of the boys 150 meters. Would have had a number of events that have gone since morning. We had the running of the 5,000 meters for boys and the 3,000 meters. And uh, earlier, we had the 5,000 meters, as we said, running. That event won by Javon Wilson of Mavis Bank in 80 minutes, 24.22, ahead of Conroy Robinson of Woolmers and Woolmers Hudson as well. And uh, the winner for the girls class two was Sharena Douglas of St. Catherine. The 3,000 meters won in 12 minutes, 08.51. Class two boys, 150 meters. Will be the next event on the track, on your screens. It's Shorter J. Thomas of Woolmers, Dijon Woodbine of St. Jago, Nevada Peterskill of Anatomy, and off they go. In the middle of the pack, it's St. Jago, Zorata St. George's, Omari Evelyn. Into the straight they come. Kimani Grant of Mona is also running well on the outside is Rick Henley Reed of Excelsior. So it's going to be apparently a blanket finish. And on the inside as well, it could be a tight race there between Woolmers is Shorter Thomas. Peter still was there as well. And also Kimani Grant of Mona, 18.51. The time coming across. And uh, in the end, it was a blanket finish. Grant was there. So it's apparently Natal Reed of Kingston Technical coming away with the win in 18.60 seconds. So it's a 12. Race event, time final, boys class 2, 150 meters, heat 2 coming up, it's Nejan Alberg of Excelsior, Janet Bailey of Kingston Technical, Nate Williams of St. Jago, Brandon Levy of Kingston High, Jaron Ewart of Woolmers, Denzel Carter of Fogo Road, Tevon Thomas of Tatius Golding, Kahim Reed of Cornwall, and Jovan Ingram of Seaforth High. Those are the competitors for the second heat in the boys. 150 meters here at the Wesley Powell. Off they go. Getting up very well on the outside there is a the man from Cornwall, Caden Reed. In the middle of the pack now is Ewart of Woolmers. And also there is Natty Williams of St. Jago. In the middle there is Kingston High's Brandon Levy. But coming through is the man from Foga Road, Den Zakata. Winning. In a time of 17.78, the flash time coming across. So four girls out of Clarendon High, out of Clarendon 
the parish of Clarendon rather coming away with this win Denza Carter 17.83 the flash time I urge all of you to enjoy your life the precious moments you have to spend each day with some laughter yeah, and some thought you should have your emotions Carter moved to tears from Fogo Road are you impressed with that time? What do you think about it? It's fine, but we could have done better. Tell me about how your season has been preparing. Um, it's been good. It's been good. I uh, prepare well for champs. All right, all the best. So, the man from Fogaro, Denza Carter, coming across, inquiring about his time, 17.83, and he's pretty happy with it. So the third heat is coming up. We have Demarco Moore of Anoda Bay, Toyan Taff of Mona, Andrew Walker of Seaforth High, Jordan Sitzgerald of Mavis Bank, Giovanni Plummer, St. George's College, Christoph Bart, Wilmer's Boys, Deverell Christie of Kingston Technical, Kwame Alexander St. Catherine and Shavon Campbell of Fogo Road. Those are your competitors. We'll go to the start for the third heat of the boys class two, 150 meters. Off they go and the man from St. Diego gets up well and Ajani Bailey of King's Technical too. They are coming around into the curve in the middle of the pack is the man from C4, uh, Andrew Walker. Walker drives forward beside him. It's uh, Jordan of uh, Mavis Bank who comes through. Jordan Sitzgerald. 17.81. The time there for Jordan Sitzgerald of Mavis Bank ahead of Andrew Walker of C4 High. The third of 12. 17.84, the official time for Jordan Sealer, Sitzgerald of Mavis Bank. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh, uh, we have Sitzgerald here from Fogo Road. Are you, wow, are you not impressed with the time? No. Why? Reference 16, I'm here on 17. You just just saw the time go sometimes, man. Yeah, so good too. So you're happy with your run though, differently. Yeah. All right, Sid Gerald <laughs> from Mavis Bank coming across with the win, having a chat with us. <laughs> so it's quite animated these athletes. So the next event, it's the fourth of 12 boys class two, 150 meters. Marcus Gordon of uh, Mona, off they go. Out there is Wilma's boys, David Foster, Horace Hines of Seaforth. Into the straight they come. And the Seaforth and Jack Juan Palmer of St. George's College. He's holding the lead. Can he hold on? On the outside there is Bent. Oh, close. Bent from St. Catherine on the outside. And Palmer of St. George's on the inside, 18.39. The flash time. Eighteen point four two, the official time. All right, so. The next event, Heat 5, Dequan Mirage of Seaforth, Romario Branford, <coughs> Romario Branford of Campion, Doreen Williams of Mona, Raheem Collins St. George's, Ajoma Daly of Kingston High, Houdain Toller of St. Jago, Joshua Grant, Kingston College, 
Arjuna Ademola of Kingston Technical and Malik Palmer. Wilmers boys, your next competitors. And uh, the athletes have been called back for the fifth heat. Well, that was Joshua Grant from Kingston College coming across with the win, 18.02 for section 5 of the boys' 150 meters. Section 5 of 12, time final. <coughs> section 6 of 12 coming up. We have Tashay Robertson of Wilmers, Christopher Redden of St. Diego, Maliki Harris of Excelsior, Romario Morrison of Papin, Kemar Thomas of Wilmers Boys, Tayshawn Latham of Meadowbrook, Shane O. Francis of St. Catherine, Jaden Henry of Mona, and Antoine Bygrave of St. George's College. Off they go. The man from uh, St. Catherine, Jaden Henry of Mona, Brightgrave of St. Jago. Into the straight they come. Mona's Henry is there. Meadowbrook's Latham there as well, too. On the outside. Oh, close. Very close between Meadowbrook's Latham and uh, Bygrave of St. George's, 18.77. Meadowbrook's Latham. Coming across with the win, 18.79. So it was very close between Bygrave and uh, Latham. In the end, uh, Bygrave might have gotten the win on the line over Latham, 18.79.
until section 7 of 12. The boys 150 meters. Matthew Cardoza of Mona. Ricardo Carr of Morant Bay. Samuel Kelly of Woolmans Boys. Martland McClarty of Papine. Jordan Ferguson of Meadowbrook. Javon Corr of St. Catherine. Demario Brown, St. Jago. Kahim Williams of St. George's College. And uh, Errol Needham of Foga Road. And if you're a fan of the FIFA World Cup, the quarterfinal encounter between Morocco and Portugal currently underway. And uh, the Moroccans have taken now one in lead over Portugal. So the Moroccan dream, the African dream lives on at the FIFA World Cup 2022. So Morocco with a 1-0 lead. Just on the verge of halftime in that contest. Of course, a little later on will be this. The final quarterfinal game will be later on, England-France. In the meantime, we return here for section... Seven. Off they go. So, Papines McClarty, Ferguson Meadowbrook, core of St. Catherine. On the outside there is Williams, also there is a car of uh, Morant Bay. So, they are coming now, now to the wire, and Morant Bay's uh, Ricardo Carr takes it in 18.07, the flash time coming across. Quite competitive mid-race. And in the end, it's Ricardo Carr of Morant Bay coming away with the win. Officially now, 18.09. So in a, in a short while, we'll be having some results for you. Section 8 of 12 coming across. We have Daniel Herdit of Papine in 1. Mickey Patterson of Woolmers in 2. Jaden Martin of Kingston Technical in 3. Shaquan Samuels of St. George is in 4. Shamoy Graham of Morant Bay in 5. James Harrison of Excelsior in six. Avery Richards of St. Catherine in seven. And Antoine Thompson of Meadowbrook, the other athlete in this eighth section of the boys' 150 meters. Twelve sections. Already the man from Mavis Bank, or rather of Poker Road, then Zakata, the leader, 17.83, the leading time so far. So in the middle of the pack here is Woolmer's boys, Patterson. Also there on the outside is uh, Meadowbrook's Antoine. And uh, coming through now for the win, the man from Excelsior, James Harrison, ahead of Patterson of Woolmer's Boys and uh, Thompson of Meadowbrook, 18.66. The time there for the man from Excelsior, James Harrison. Short, stocky sprinter looks looks at his time, but 17.83 remains the leading time so far. The man from Fogo Road, Denzel Carter.
So at halftime in that game between Morocco and Portugal, it's Morocco 1, Portugal 0. Portugal hitting the crossbar just before the whistle went. So we head over now to the ninth section of the boys 150 meters, 9 of 12. Do you remember you are watching the Wesley Paul Memorial track and field meet on Stride Vision TV, the first? In the Stride Vision TV athletic series for the 2022-2023 track and field season. Off they go. Right of St. Catherine. Outside there is Woolmer's boys, Daniel Henry. Into the straight they come. Monas Antoine Smith is there as well. And coming now through, it's the man from St. Catherine, Charles Wright. Lanky sprinter drives across the line, 17.88. The flash time, the second fastest time of the day so far. 18.21. In the end. 17.83 remain the leading time from the man from Fogger Road, Denza Carter. Section 10, coming up, Leon Parchment, Papin, Stephen Bent, Cornwall, Joshua Thomas, St. Catherine, Giovanni Richards, Holy Trinity, Rocky Drummond of Meadowbrook, Baldwin Young of Morant Bay, Paul Henry, Hoga Road, Shaw Williams, Wilmer's Boys, and Shaheem Johnson of Excelsior. Those are your competitors for the 10th of 12. 150 meters, class two boys. In the set position, and off they go. So in the middle of the pack, there's Meadowbrook's Drummond, the ball in of Moran Bay, and Paul Henry of Fogger Road. Into the straight, they come down. Inside is the man from uh, Par Papine Parchment. On the outside there, Woolmers is... Uh, uh, coming through as well and uh, the man from the inside there Leon Parchment of Papine looks as if he might have snatched it yes he does 18.93 the man from Papine 19 seconds flat section 10 of 12 Early days yet. But seen some early season sprinting taking place. And the tenth section just won by Leon Parchment of Papine. All right. So we have an Olympian to speak with in a short while. With us, at the completion of these events, section 11 of 12, Ellen Simpson of Fogo Road, Daniel Peart of Mona, Chevron Fenderson of Excelsior, on their marks. This is J. A. Morgan of St. Jago. Campbell of Papine. Braxton Brown of Meadowbrook, of Woolmers rather. Also there it's Steve Anglin of He's Running Unattached. And Orain Daly of Morant Bay. Your competitors. All right, 
So in the set position and off they go. Campbell of Papin, the man from St. Jacob, Detache Morgan. He looks good in the middle of the pack, coming around into the straight now. It's the man from St. Jacob, Detage Morgan. And he's holding on, trying to close the gap is the rest, but Detage Morgan of St. Jacob coming across with a flash time, 17.69, the fastest time so far this morning. If it holds, yes, it does. It's now 17.71. So this now is the leading time so far, 17.71. And 17.71 seconds for the man from St. Jago, which now takes the lead overall. So the next event, we have the 12th and final. Kahini Dixon of St. Catherine, Vladimir Brooks of Woolmer's Boys, Tajani Riches of Kingston Technical, Muradre Campbell of Papine. Lorenzo Lawrence of Cornwall College and Michael Dwyer of St. Jago, your competitors in the 12th and final heat of the boys, 150 meters. So 17.71. Now the leading time. And if it holds, he would be declared the winner overall of the 12 finalists, the 12 events. It's a time final. Good morning, wherever you are joining us. Good morning to you from where you are. Of course. Off they go. And uh, in the middle there is Papines, uh, Maradre, Campbell, Tajani, Richards. Outside there is a man from St. Diego, Michael Dwyer. He holds a comfortable lead. Will St. Diego make it a quick double in this event? 18.39. Second, uh, there the man from Papine, Marandre Campbell. Cornwall's Woolmer's boys, Vladimir Brooks was there as well. But the event, Michael Dwyer winning the event. All right, so we have here with us Mr. Jeremy Gonzalez. It, it was just like a few, not so long ago, we were here in the box coming tating <laughs> with you on the track. Morning, how are you doing? Not too bad. Here enjoying this meet, you know. I mean, what, what do you think about these early development meets, though? I mean, it's really good, you know, because remember a lot of these uh, meets um, um, have been held because of COVID. I'm the coach at Papin High School now, and this is the first time some of them are competing since class three. So I'm very happy for this meet, you know, they get the opportunity to compete and see where they're at and, you know, get an understanding of what they need to do when they're at training. So I'm really I'm um, happy for this meal. All right, so we're going to talk to you a little about your coaching exploits. But let us take this first race. It's the girls' class three. 150 meters. Amisha walk off Woolmer's girls. On the outside there is Mona's Rikalia Doherty. On the inside is Seaforth Hyde Davison. So Doherty of Mona holds the lead comfortably. And she's going to cross the line now in 20.50. And the second place going there to Gianna Lowers of St. Hughes High. So, Jeremy, you are the coach of Papine High. Tell us about I mean, your um, expectations with, for the team this year. I mean, as I said before, you know, a lot of them have competed since COVID. They didn't, there was no coach there for a while, so they're basically new to the, to the event. But... Um, we have a couple of guys that are looking good and you know if they can put in the work and follow the instructions I'm expecting to do really well. Yeah, we know Papine over the years have produced you know, some household names in terms of track and field. I'm certain you are there to continue that tradition. Yes, that's the aim. Um, the coach there uh, did, did a pretty good job. If, as I said before, they have a couple of athletes that represent in Jam um, Jamaica. You know, Taji Gale was there. Tiffany James, Tiffany the James sisters, and also, um, what's her name, Candice McLeod, you know, who are doing well at the senior level and representing Jamaica well. So I'm just looking to continue that trend. All right, so the second heat is there, 
and uh, the athlete from Excelsior Henry running very well in the middle there it is uh, St. Catherine's Ellis and also on the outside Woolmer's girls Tiana Marshall who strikes away and strides away to win 19.39 for the Woolmer's girls Tiana Marshall winning this event 19.39 so, Jeremy, you have had some athletes um, competing this morning. What's your overall thoughts? Um, it's going okay so far. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with what I'm seeing from the guys. Um, I have a guy that finished third in the 150 class one and should get a next third place in the, um, the class two as well. So, you know, they're looking good and, you know, I'm pleased with the effort. Still a long way to go and a lot of work to do. And, you know, I just want them to come out here, you know, get their feet wet and get a better understanding of what they need to do and, and know that it's, it's a long road and it's hard and they have to put in the hard work. How long have you been now, coach? I've been there for, from last year, probably about seven, eight months now. Not a long time, but, you know, it's going good so far. You know, I'm getting the respect and the, the guys are, you know, putting in the work. So I just say I'm, I expect great things from them this year. All right, we can take this race again. It's section three of the girls' class three, 150 meters. And uh, it's a level break. But Woolmer's girls, uh, Ashley Kentish looks to be the leader so far into the straight they come. On the outside there, it's the girl from Immaculata Robinson. Also on the outside there is Excelsis Jamelia Williams. And Williams is now striding away. And she's going to win it in 19.35 ahead of... Robinson of Immaculate. So no doubt there about the winner, Jamelia uh, Williams. Still having a chat here with our Olympian himself. You know, um, Jermaine Gonzalez, remember the days when we used to commentate here right in the box. And uh, wh What's the difference like there was a coach in terms of and, and, and your athletic days? For me, I think it's, it's less pressure. You know, I don't have to be out there running, you know, out there in the sun. You know, I'm happy for that. But I still feel a little pressure because I think I have a responsibility, you know, to teach the kids the right thing and to, to encourage them and to make sure that they, you know, they give their best when they go out there. So that, that's the main difference. You know, I'm not out there, but I'm behind the scene and, and pushing the kids and, you know, hoping for them to do well. All right. Heat four coming up. We have Chania Campbell of Woolmers, Jamelia Humes of Meadowbrook. We have Thompson of Excelsior. And off they go now, coming around into the straight now. The girl from Pepin is there, Horton. Michaela Black uh, of uh, Gainstead. So in the middle now, it's Thompson of Excelsior. She's now holding a couple meters lead on the pack. And she's striding away, coming across for second. It's... The girl from Meadowbrook, so no doubt there about the winner. Excelsior's Tashika Thomas Thompson winning this section four of 11, the girls' class one, or rather class three, 150 meters. The events are coming thick and fast. And uh, we still have with us Jermaine uh, Gonzalez uh, we, we know there was an injury that kind of affected your career in the last, last part of your athletic career. I mean, how disappointed were you that was the thing that really kind of just, you know, led you into call it today? I mean, it's a big disappointment when you know you have the talent and you're not able to deliver because as of injuries is always difficult. You know, I had a bone tumor in my left knee. I did uh, like two surgeries to get rid of it, so I'm, I'm happy I'm still walking around and I'm able to play with my kids and to be out there, you know, coaching. So, you know, I have to give thanks for that, but that was the main reason, you know, the bone tumor took me out for a couple of years and I just wasn't able to get back to full training and get back up to speed. But now I'm, I'm you know, passing on the knowledge to the younger ones and I'm pleased, you know, to, give him back, to be giving back to a sport that has done so much for me. So I'm in a happy place right now. Definitely. All right, we have Heat 5 coming up of 11. Kaylia Duckett of Gainstead. Tatania Anglin of Merle Grove. Meadowbrook's Kong. McGann of Mona. Pusey of Kingston High. And they are off and running. The girl from Mona, McGann, holds the lead. Also snatching it away from her now is Excelsior uh, Riley. But fighting forward now 
is Woolmers is Sterling. And Sterling is now coming away to win it. 19.83. Zonya Cam Sterling of Woolmers Girls. Was it a natural progression, Jeremy? I mean, uh, naturally for you to just take up Boji? I think so. And, you know, just my personal experience with the injuries, you know, coming back from injury to do well, you know, going back down and coming back up, you know, you pick up a few things that you need to do. And, you know, I'm happy for that at the end of the day. And, you know, I think I have the knowledge, you know, to, to, to coach someone to do well, you know. But, you know, track and field is a hard sport and you, there's no shortcut. You have to put in the work. So that's what I think is a problem with a lot of Jamaican kids. They don't want to do the work. So that's what I'm trying to g get to the kids that you have to put in the work. There's no shortcut. Definitely. So Campbell of Tatius Golding Excelsior. Campbell given of Excelsior as well. The, uh, there on the outside, another Excelsior athlete in uh, Zavi Harvey. And Harvey now is winning by about 10 meters. And... She crosses the line in 19.84 ahead of her other Excelsior competitors, Givans, Campbell, Merle Groves, Shantani, and uh, Thomas was there as well. But Zavi Harvey, big winner in the sixth section of the girls' class three, 150 meters. Still having a chat here with Jermaine Gonzalez, a coach of Papine High. Uh, we know the traditional schools, um, they are always dominant, but they are also the schools that do produce, you know, the other, yourself was one of those athletes who came out of a, a, a school that is not, not regularly um, known in track and field circles. But what are your thoughts about uh, those schools who have those one and two athletes um, coming out there, beating the bigger boys and so on? I mean, it's, it's always a nice thing, you know. I remember competing for Tatius, as I said before. Uh, basically, a no-name school, and I was able to come all the way to champs and, you know, beating people from JC and KC and Calabar. It was exciting for me, and I know for the kids at Papi, it's no different. You know, I try to share my story with them and let them know that. I mean, it doesn't matter which school you're from. You know, you have a good coach, and once you put in the work, you know, it's possible. So, you know, that's what I try to put in their head each day that listen doesn't matter with school put in the work we all have talent and and let's see what we can do definitely speaking with continue to speak with Jermaine Gonzalez here Esco of Wilmers on the outside there is McNabb of Excelsior so it's a close race developing here Excelsior's McNabb is there on the inside coming through his immaculate goff and it's Gonna be a blanket finish and let us see you crossing a line very close. There was uh, Immaculate Goff, also Excelsius, McNabb, and Woolmer's Esco 21.02. It appears that Goff of Immaculate might have taken it 21.02. Ivan Skeen Goff. Goff of Immaculate looks as if she has won the event 21.29 and uh, that was 7 of 11 coming up next is the 8th event it's Jada K. Thomas C4th Dewani Lewis of Merle Grove Leah Francis of Woolmers Leona Thompson of Kingston Technical, Akilia White of St. Catherine, Sally Bingham of She's Running Unattached. Off they go. And uh, St. Catherine's White gets up well. Also beside her is Thompson of Kingston Technical. Swinging to the straight now, Woolmer's uh, Lee. And uh, leading home the pack here is Lewis from Merle Grove. And she's going to win it. 19.87, your flash time coming across there for the girl 
from Merle Grove, Dewani Lewis. How much um, Jeremy in, I mean, is overall enjoyment? We know at least, I mean, have to work and get, but how, mm. how, how important is also and to come and enjoy yourself part of the whole the track and field development? Is. I encourage you Lewis know, to have a from little track and, 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 and she's gonna and win it. Sports. And if you're not enjoying it, then you know it's gonna be even more difficult for you to you know come out each day and perform. So I encourage them to enjoy themselves. I try to you know do a little relief you now and then in my training, you know, just to, 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 to let them have some fun. But I mean, we know that it's not a sport like football where you know, your pass around the ball and you can shift to mana and enjoy. It's not like that, you know. It's not a sports that you'll have a lot of fun, so you have to love it. So, you know, once the love is there, then you will have, you will have fun, you know, putting in the hard work each day. Um, definitely. We know you soon have to run to the 10th year at least. We have maybe a one or two more questions to ask you. Rikiana Chambers of St. Catherine, paid more of Excelsior. Uh, also, there is Marshall of King's Technical and Merle Goes uh, uh, Bell Navis. So they are coming around to the straight now. On the inside is St. Catherine Chambers. She snatches the lead. There's another athlete there from Immaculate coming forward too. And she is uh, Kimberly Wright. And Kimberly Wright is coming across to take it in 19.80 seconds. Winning the flash time there. You're beside, um, you know, the world famous do, that does their training up there, MVP track club. Any, any, um, any connection in terms of any, even words of encouragement from that side of the fence? I mean, for me, not so far, but I know that MVP was close with the former coach, you know, and she being an MVP um, coach herself. But since I've been there, nothing so far. We still use the gym by UTEC, which is a plus. But for me, no, no direct connection with, with none of the coaches over there. Well, at least not yet. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> you open or, 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 or you're just doing your thing? No, man, definitely. I mean, I mean, Stephen Francis, for me, is probably the best coach, you know, the world I've ever seen. So, you know, I'm always willing to learn. And if the opportunity arises where I can have a talk with him and get some knowledge and some encouragement, I will be very pleased for that. Uh, definitely. All right, um, we will wrap up with you with an, an, another question in coming up, but we have uh, section 10 coming up. Gideon Edwards of Excelsior, Natrila Campbell of Wilmer's Girls, Michael Ann Lindo of St. Catherine, Kalisha Humphrey of Anoda Bay, Mauricia Allison of Meadowbrook, Omaria Gillespie of Gainstead, Shante Sukram of Merle Grove, and they say Kane of Alpha. Off they go and they're coming around already. In the middle of the pack, it's St. Catherine's Lindo. Michael and Lindo now strikes to the front. And she has a good step on the field. And she's also driving away. Woolmers is Natrila Campbell. Also there is Excelsior's Gadian Edwards. But no doubt about the winner, Michael and Lindo of St. Catherine, 19.83. The flash time there for this girls class three. 150 meters. Michael Alindo of uh, St. Catherine. Advice for upcoming at least German as we wrap? I mean, when check and feel is not easy, you have to enter with that mindset. It's going to be hard work. So you have to make up your mind to put in the work. And I mean, it gets easier when, whenever you push yourself. Because if you're running at 300 meters, you're not feeling pain. You're not improving. You start to improve when you feel the pain. So you have to just prepare yourself to work hard, you know, and the sky's the limit. I mean, track and field is a sport that can do a lot for you. You can get scholarship to go to university. You know, you can make a living from it, so why not? And we, we have the nice climate here. It's always hot, so we can be outside training, you know, unlike other countries. So go out there and, you know, just, you know, take a chance. Push yourself. You never know what can happen. And you spoke about the climate and athletes staying back, and of course, some will stay, some will stay. But for those who stay, I think like yourself, I mean, I mean, w was it worth it? Or w I mean, are you encouraged to continue? I mean, d or is just depending on how, um, you know, maybe what the parents might think or other at or uh, other connections might think. Um, for me, is 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 based on you as an athlete. You have people who 
will go away and perform well. And you have people that you know can manage that. So it depends on you and your personal choice. And if you're a top athlete, junior athlete in Jamaica, I think I think I would encourage you to stay and train here. Thank you very much, Jeremy and Gonzalez. As we see a swell of Woolman's Girl coming across the line here in 19.75. All the best, Jeremy, in your endeavors. See? All right, thanks. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, Jeremy and Gonzalez here, of course, former big time runner here in Jamaica. Commonwealth medalist. World Championship medalist. Of course, remember the days when he had his battles with Usain Bolt at the Boys and Girls Championships. And uh, here he is now, as we had a chat with him, now the coach of Papine High, that have produced the likes of a Candice McLeod, a world championship finalist, a, a world junior champion in Tiffany James, the James sisters, and of course the world long jump champion, Tajay Gale. Last three boys under... The class three boys, 150 meters. Omari Miller of Kingston College has this one sewn up. Chasing him is the man from who is running unattached green. And also Wilmer's boys, Jordan Hudson. But Omari Miller of Kingston College winning 18.82. So, section two of the boys' class three. 150 meters. Nathaniel Newton of St. Jago. David McCarthy of Mavis Bank. Jordan Smith of Meadowbrook. Omari Thomas of Wilmer's Boys. Zachary Rowe, unattached. Tyrone Rowe, Walker rather, Excelsior. Alex Hansen of St. Catherine. Roberto Buchanan of Excelsior and Tejon Ricketts of Foga Road. And off they go and uh, level. Woolmers, Omari Thomas. Uh, on the outside there is a man from uh, St. Catherine Alex. On the inside, St. Jago's Newton Nathaniel. And in the middle now is Woolmers' boy, is Omari Thomas. And Thomas is going to take it. Close between himself and uh, Zachary Rowe was unattached, but clear daylight between Omari Thomas and Zachary Rowe, who is running unattached. Thomas of Woolmer's boys winning in 18.77, section 2 of 6. The boys, class 3, 150 meters. Of course, we are here at the Wesley Powell Memorial Track and Field Meet, the 24th running of the event. My name is Roger Hasfall, and of course, it's the first... Stride Vision Athletic Series event for the 2022-2023 track and field season. Wonderful conditions here for track and field. And for the World Cup fans, Morocco continues to hold a 1-0 lead over Portugal. In their quarterfinal encounter in Qatar. And they are well into the second half. Can the Morocco pull off can the Moroccans pull off an upset? With all this section three. Hall of Excelsior. Green of a Foga Road. Henry of he's running unattached. And also there is Moran Bay's car. And uh, into the straight they come. And the man in the middle here is uh, Henry, who's rung on a touch. And on the out inside there, coming across, 
is the man from Foga Road, 19.14, Jevon Green. The winner of this section three, the boys, 150 meters for class three boys. So, section four of six, Malik Bryan of Excelsior, Jaden Taylor of Morant Bay, Biando Reed of St. Catherine, Russian Ramsey of St. Jago, Rian Ford of Mavis Bank, Nevon Thompson of Seaforth High, Javon Forrest, Tasha Scolding. And off they go. And uh, the man from St. George's, Jassy Walters, looks good on the outside. Beside him is uh, Nevon Thompson of Seaforth High. In the middle there is a uh, Ford of Mavis Bank. On the outside there is Kimarley Robinson of Woolmers now. And he comfortably take it. 19.51. Was running blindsided on the outside lane. And he came across with the win. 19.52. The man from Woolmers boys. Marley Robinson. Fifth of six, the boys. Class three, 150 meters. And off they go. And uh, oh, running very well is Ray J. Reese of St. Jago is already covered up everyone in the field. The others will only be in his wake. Knight of Mona and Woolmers Williams. And uh, here comes the man from St. Jago driving forward now. 17.75, 17.78. For the man from St. Jago, Ray J. Reese. And uh, Reese coming home with the win here. The fastest time so far. And the boys, class <laughs> ah, three, 150 meters. That time looks as if it is a leading time. And uh, information reaching us now, that is a new record here. He looks quite busy in that race. And uh, in the end, the record has been shattered. In the boys' class three, 150 meters, 17.78. Wait so, definitely, that will be the leading time heading into the final event, the sixth of six, class three boys, 150 meters. You have uh, Bevan, you have Brown of Mona, Mackenzie St. Jago, Graham Excelsior, Walker Woolmers, McDermott Seaforth, Ruffer St. George's, Ford Mavis Bank, and Graham from Excelsior.
So, still await the running of this sixth and final section in the boys' class three, 150 meters. Immediately after that will be 22 finals in the girls' class four, 150 meters. Going to be very, pretty interesting. So it's Brown, Mona, Mackenzie, St. Jago. Off they go. Graham, Excelsior, Walker, Wilmer's boys. And the man from St. Jago, Mackenzie, already takes his claim. And he swings into the straight with a huge lead on the outside. Though it's the man from Excelsior, Michael Graham, challenge him. And Graham now drives forward. And it's going to be very close. Graham takes it, though. Michael Graham, after Mackenzie did the early running, 18.01 the time there accredited to michael graham of excelsior Next event on the track, section one of the girls, class four, 150 meters. There will be 22 sections. So brace yourself for a feast of class four girls running over 150 meters. So Morocco holding a 1-0 lead in the 67th minute. If you're a World Cup fan, off they go. Early runnings in this class, four girls, 150 meters. It's Armstrong of St. Catherine. She holds the lead. On the outside, there is Williams from Woolmer's girls. And Williams, though, she's driving away. Williams on the outside lane. Here she comes to take it in 20.97 ahead of Howell of Alpha. And also there is Davis of Campion College. But no doubt about the winner there, Kiara Williams of Woolmer's Girls. 21.02, the time awarded to the young lady from Woolmer's Girls, Kiara Grant. Section 2 coming up. Coming thick and fast, Oraxia Brooks, Excelsior, Shalame Berry, Alpha, She Emma Mullings of Excelsior, Khadija Harrison of Excelsior, Shar Brown of Rockets, Jazara McCarthy of Campion, Latifa Hamilton of Mona, Joan Reddick of Tatius Golding, and Monet Campbell of St. Hughes. Off they go, and uh, getting up very well is Harrison of Excelsior, another Excelsior athlete, Mullings there as well. Into the straight they come, the girl from Alpha, Berry, Shalome Berry now, on the outside, hey, oh, and there's a fall there for Hamilton of Mona, and it is allowing the Alpha, the, uh, Shalome Berry, coming across 22.38, and... Uh, we saw a brave Latifa Hamilton of Mona after falling to the track, getting up and completing the race. That's the spirit. Shalami Berry, though, 
of Alpha winning section two of 22 class four girls 150 meters next Trisha Smith in one Ariana Rod regrets of Woolmers girls Kaylona Hamilton of St. Hughes Etana Smith of Excelsior Akeda Campbell of Mona Alexia Shaw Seaforth Giselle James Papine Janisha Jackson of Mona and Azaria Harris of Alpha the next competitors section three of 22 the girls 150 meters Off they go. And uh, Campbell of Mona. C4 Shaw, Alexia Shaw. On the inside is Woolmer's girls, Ariana Rodriguez. On the outside there is Alpha's Azaria Harris. Now it's going to be a close finish here. And the girl from Woolmer's though takes it, Ariana Rodriguez. 20.67. For the Michael car coach, Woolmer's girl athlete. Ariana Rodriguez, 20.57. 40 coming up. We have Amelia Blake of Mona, Paris Segree of St. Hughes, Rachel Thompson of Excelsior, Natasha Burke of Kingston Technical, Sheila Barnes of Excelsior, Aymani Crawford of Alpha, Damelia Green of St. Hughes, Kadian Miller of Mona and Akira Morrison of Rockets. Oi. Yeah. All right, so action in the field is on the way as well. And we are having the javelin event open for girls. So the fourth section coming up now. Off they go. And it's Burke of Kingston Technical. On the outside there is Hughes from Green from St. Hughes. Aymari Crawford of Alpha there too. And Crawford now holds the lead. She's coming home. The author's chase is in the wake. But no doubt it's going to be Aymari Crawford of Alpha. 21.66, the flash time there for Imani Crawford of Alpha, section 4 of 22. Fifth heat coming up, Jada Harris of Woolmer's Girls, Gabriella Graham of Gainstead, Kahira King of Kingston Technical, Tariq Baxter, Tasha Scolding, Gabriel Treasure, St. Catherine, Javelia Brown of Merle Grove, Kalindra Brown of St. Catherine, Beyonce Kenyon of Seaforth, and Sharanique McNeil of Holy Trinity, your competitors, section 5 of 22. Continue to give you updates on this interesting quarterfinal world cup encounter between morocco and portugal morocco continues to lead one nil in the 70th, 77th minute <laughs> right so here they are again Attention switches to the start of this girls, class four, 150 meters. On their marks. In the set position and off they go. And the uh, Woolmer's girls, Jada Harris looks to have the early step on the field. Brown of Mergrove and Brown also St. Catherine Kenyon of Seaforth High. 
So on the outside now, it's the girl from St. Catherine who comes forward now. And it's Gabrielle Treasure. She's driving forward ahead of J.D. Harris of Woolmers and the other St. Catherine athlete in brown. 20.61 for Gabrielle Treasure of St. Catherine High. Section 5 of 22. Section 6, Ophelia Lawrence, Kingston Technical, Carly Downey of Mona, Alana Aarons of St. Hughes, Kayla Howard of Merle Grove, Rashida Davison, Morant Bay, Araja Drysdale of Woolmer's Girls, Gabriel Dennis Campion, Deontre Harris of Merle Grove, and Christina Steele of Alpha, your competitors for the sixth Class 4 Girls, 150 meters event. 6 of 22, off they go. And uh, eating up the field right now is Alana Aarons of uh, St. Hughes. Campion Colleges, uh, Dennis is doing well too. Into the straight they come. On the outside is Dennis of Campion. She's trapped by the rest. And the closing also is Women's Girls is, is uh, Drysdale. But no doubt it's going to be Gabrielle Dennis of Campion. 20.43 ahead of Women's Girls, Asia Drysdale. Section 6 of 22. Section 7 coming up. Rogiana Mullings of Merle Grove. Shamoya Martin of St. Catherine. Deja Jones of Mona, Shanil Stewart of Excelsior, Cordell McFarlane of Seaforth, Teja Lee Brown of Woolmer's Girls, Tiana Taylor of Holy Trinity, Ashantoe Crawford of Seaforth, and Deandra Horton of Gainstead, your competitors. The seventh section of 22, girls class four, 150 meters, here at the Wesley Powell Memorial Track and Field Meet. The first stop in the 2022-2023 Stride Vision Athletic Series. Off they go. So, the girl from St. Catherine, Martin. On the outside, in the middle rather, is Brown of Woolmer's Girls. Also running well is DeAndre Horton of Gainstead. Into the straight they come and it's Martin of uh, St. Catherine. On the outside there is Horton of Gainstead. And it's going to be close blanket though, but Horton from Gainsett takes it ahead of Shamoya Martin of St. Catherine. DeAndre Horton running on the blind side, 21.03, the winner of Section 7. Section 8 coming up. Rickel Barnes of Mona. Cersei Gordon of St. Catherine. Cordella Gabidon of Excelsior. Janique Lowe, St. Catherine. Janice Richards of Papine. Raina Scott Gainstead. Imri Small of St. Hughes. Marisa Senior of Seaforth. And Sachel Hornsby of Excelsior.
So section eight, up 22, class four girls, 150 meters. Once again, good morning, wherever you are joining us for the first time this morning. Welcome to the Stride Vision Athletic Series. The first of such for 2022-2023. And off they go in the eighth section. Sashel Hornsby. On the inside is Richards of Papine, Low of St. Catherine. And Excelsius Gabidon. So it's close now. It's close. It's going to be very close. Coming down to the wire and uh, winning it. It's Gordon of St. Catherine. Charisse Gordon, 21.818, 21.18, the winning time. For Charisse Gordon of St. Catherine High, section 8 of 22. Section 9, coming up. Jesha and Shirley of Mona. Shelley and Lewis of St. Catherine. Janelle Hamilton of Seaforth. Kyla Francis of Gainster. Sanya Campbell of Honora Bay. Jania Adamson of Alpha. Felicia Compass of Rockets. And Taraji Simpson of Mona. Section 9 of 22. On their marks. Off they go. Section 9 of 22. And uh, it is Alphas Adamson. Rockets compass. Into straight they come. C Fords Hamilton. Running very well. It's Gainstead's Francis. On the outside it's Adamson of Alpha though. And on the inside it is St. Catherine, Shelley and Lewis. And Shelley and Lewis of St. Catherine. Comes away with the win. 20.67. The time that flashed across for Hamilton from Seaforth High. Section 10 coming up. Girls class 4, 150 meters. Carissa Ogilvy of Morant Bay. Gabriel Gordon of St. Hughes. Zaisha Walker of Anoda Bay. Candice Comrie of Mona. Abigail Mills of Woolmers Girls. Jamila Thompson Thomas of Merle Grove. Tony Ann Davis of Excelsior. And Claymoya Roberts of Morant Bay. Section 10 of 22. And off they go. And uh, Woolmer's Mills gets up well. On the outside there is Excelsius Davis. Cleona Roberts of Morant Bay. And in the inner lanes is Walk of Another Bay. So on the outside now is Roberts of Morant Bay. And uh, coming through now, it's Morant Bay's uh, uh, Cleomona Roberts ahead of Excelsior's Tony and Davis. And Woolmer's Abigail Mills, 20.97. The time accredited to Clemoya Roberts of Morant Bay in the 10th section of 22 in the girls, class 4, 150 meters. Eleven of twenty-two. 
Natalia Henry of Merle Grove. Section 11. Off 22, the girls class 4, 150 meters. Natoya Henry of Merle Grove. Jazara Bygrave of Campion. Antoinette Johnson of Excelsior. Michaela Alexander, St. Catherine. Felicia Williams of Mona. And off they go. And uh, a good start for Creary of Woolmer's girls. And she comes around into the stretch. It is uh, Williams of Mona and Alexander of St. Catherine. So, Creary of Woolmer's girls is still holding on to that lead. She's showing the field a clean pair of heels and winning. Ahead of Meadowbrook's Abigail Hansen, 20.35. The time flashing across. For Ashara Creary of Woolmer's girls. 20.37, the official time. Section 12 of 22, Isabella Ascot of Immaculate, Antonia Barrett of Woolmer's Girls, Rochelle Lightburn of Mona, Zoe Ann Plummer Excelsior, and Shanoi Gentles of St. Hughes. Only five competitors in this event. Section 12 of 22, Girls Class 4, 150 meters. Just to remind you, you're watching Live and continuous coverage of the Wesley Powell Memorial Meet right here at Excelsior High School. The Stride Vision at TV Athletic Series number one for 2022 and the girls' javelin event will get on the way very shortly. The girls' open javelin event. Off they go, and there's four athletes in this event. And Mona's Plummer, Excelsior's Lightburn, and uh, there's also Gentles of St. Hughes. And the short stockish Gentles of St. Hughes will come away with the win 21.33 for Shanoi Gentles of St. Hughes. So the 13th of 22 is Alia Ross of Alpha, Melissa Blythe of Woolmer's Girls, Ariana Thomas, Morant Bay, Kevona Waxtoff of Mona, Zara Silveria of Merle Grove, Chelsea Campbell of Alpha, Shanice Brown of Kingston Technical, and uh, Kalina Allen of Morant Bay. Those are your competitors for the 13th of 22, the girls class 4, 150 meters. Here at the West Powell Memorial Track and Field Meet on the grounds of Excelsior High. And off they go. A level break. And uh, 
Moran Bay's Thomas looks good. She comes into the straight beside her. It is Woolmer's girls, Melissa Blythe. On the outside there is Moran Bay, Kalina Allen as well. But Woolmer's girls, uh, uh, Blythe now comes forward. And Blythe of Woolmer's is now striding away to take it. Ahead of Ariana Thomas of uh, Moran Bay. And uh, Zara Severe of Merle Grove. 21.75 is the flash time there for Blythe of Woolmer's Girls. Section 13 of 22. And they are in extra time. It's still Morocco 1, Portugal 0. In the quarterfinal of the FIFA World Cup, and Morocco stands on the verge of becoming the first African team to qualify for the semi-final of a FIFA World Cup final. 14 of 22. Shimona Harris, Reese, Henry, Flankers, and uh, also there is Reed Cole of Harborview. So into the straight they come, and it's Holy Rosary's Shanai Williams, and uh, Coming home now to take it, it's Hines, or rather Williams of Holy Rosary. These are primary school athletes coming. We wonder why we had so much events, because they are now down into the prep and primary schools. 20.42 for Shanai Williams of Holy Rosary. Fifteen of twenty-two, Savannah Green of St. Richard's, Shakima Barnes of Holy Rosary, Shanimi Rose of St. Richard's, Malika Brown of Harbour View, Larry M. Saunders of Flankers, Daniela Clark of St. Patrick's, Kishoy Taylor of Harbour View, Jada Adlam of Harbour View, and Chloe Taylor also of Harbour View. Section fifteen of twenty-two. level break and uh, Saunders of Flankers looks to have the early initiative and uh, also there is Harborview's Taylor and uh, Clark of St. Patrick's and uh, coming home with the win Clark's of St. Patrick's winning in 20.44 section 15 of 22 Update, still Morocco 1. It, Portugal nil. They are in this, what? They have six minutes of extra time. Portugal is piling on the pressure. But cannot get that equalizing goal. This is going to be one of the major upsets of all time if this score holds in World Cup history. In the meantime, we are here for section 16 of 22. The boys, the girls, class four, 150 meters. We have Janine Lewis of Harborview, Octavia Paul Alt of Harborview, Abriana Shaw of PW Conquerors, Vinice Puria of St. Richard's, Taylin Stewart of PW Conquerors, Shanoya Hines of Harborview, Kendra Miranda of Plankers, Brianna Bailey of PW Conquerors, and Ken Ray of Harborview, your competitors. Section 16 of 22. Off they go, it's a level break. And uh, Shaw of PW Conquerors. Another PW Conquerors athlete in the race as well on the outside. And it's Ray of Harborview. Coming in the middle now, it's Shaw. And Ray, Ray of Harborview. 
And on the inside, another half of you athlete in Powell, 21.61. Yes. Yeah, so that's 21.62 for Octavia Powell. Off Harbour View. Section 17 of 22 coming up. Ashnima Campbell of Rock Hall. One point six one and uh, big news coming out of the FIFA World Cup. Portugal has been eliminated. Morocco scores a one nil victory over Portugal in their quarter final encounter to become the first African team to book a spot in the semi final of a FIFA World Cup tournament. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is definitely a wow, wow, wow moment there in world football. Section 19 of 22, Shamika Williams of Harborview, Rakelia Burton of St. Richards, Kadia Roberts of Harborview, 
Shavoy Gordon of Flankers, Ryan Kelly of Seaforth, Kayan Constable of Winnard Road, Rika Graham of St. Patrick's, Harry Bartney of Harborview, and Gabrielle Bailey of Holy Rosary. Your competitors. Section 19 of 22, Class 4 Girls. of 22, Jenny Bailey of Harbour View, Shavel Brown of Winnard Road, Jazara Gray of St. Richards, Shanika Reed of Harbour View, Melissa Faircloth, PW Conquerors, Shanoya Evans, Harbour View, Tracy Ann Barnes, Holy Rosary, Amanda Barnett, Barrett, PW Conquerors, and Dejane Wheeler, Seaport Primer. All right, so there was a second gun in this section 20 of 22. The girls, class four, 150 meters. There are 22 events in this class, four girls, 150 meters. So, coming home here for Harbour View is Shanika Reed winning the 20th of 22 finals. The girl class 4, 150 meters. Then immediately after this event, then we'll be having the class 4 boys. We'll be having 15 events.
All right. The 21st of 22, we have Tihara Bailey of Harbour View, Ashante Salmon of St. Patrick's, Ashley Allen of Seaforth, Nakelia Francis of Harbour View, Olivia Hussey of Rain Richards, Nadelia Tate of Flankers, Donio Faria of Seaforth, and uh, Dorinja Ferguson of Harbour View, your competitors. And uh, it's a close event here. And it's Francis Harbour View, Hussey of St. Richards, Tate of Nadelia uh, of, of Flankers, and into the straight they come. It's Seaforth's Ashley Allen, and also St. Patrick's Ashante Salmon. On the outside there is Faria of Seaforth, but it's St. Patrick's athlete Ashante Salmon takes it in 21.67. Ahead of Faria of Seaforth and uh, Norangia Ferguson of Harbour View. 21.67, the time for Ash Ashanti Salmon of St. Patrick's. So the final section of the girls, class four, 150 meters, 22 off, 22. Coming up, four competitors, Shanil Wiley, White of uh, Winner Road, Moya Smith of Flankers, <coughs> Tahelia Robinson of Harborview, and Shamara Lee of Seaforth. And it's into the straight they come. It's Flankers, S Robinson, Harborviews, Smith, White of Winner Road and Robinson of Harbour View is going to take it. 21.31, the time awarded to Robinson of Harbour View. Alright, so the next event on the track will be the Stride Vision TV sponsored Class 4 Boys 150 meters. 15 events on the cards. Zamperini. He's just extraordinary. His whole life was about all the lessons he learned from the resilience of the human spirit. To persevere, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. All right, so it's the Stride Vision Athletic Series for 2022-2023. And we are now for the Stride Vision TV sponsor, Class 4 Boys, 150 meters. Off they go. And it's a level break. But the man from Excelsior has the lead. St. Jago's the Carter Johnson. And uh, also there is Woolmer's Boys, Allen. So Allen of Woolmer's is coming forward now. Woolmer's is on the inside as well, running very well. Was uh, Holy Rosary's Amika Hellswood, but it is uh, Mark Daniel Allen of Woolmer's 19.83. The time flashing across for the man from Woolmer's Boys, Mark Daniel Allen. Hecklewood rather apparently has gotten the win from Holy Rosary, a duel in the last 20 meters between himself and Allen. Looks as if Allen would have taken it on the line, but 
in a fourth to finish. It's Heckler Wood of Holy Rosary coming out the winner. All right, so after that exciting opening event, let's see what this one takes. Second of 15, none of our flankers, of flankers, Marco Dean Henry of St. Catherine, Alfaro Cunningham of Winner Road, Jade Allen of Seaforth, Keniel Daniels of Excelsior, Jalil uh, Reynolds of St. Jago, Robert Robinson of Kingston College, Darren Crossdale of Harbour View and Javon Patterson of Wilmer's Boys. Your competitors, Section 2 of the Stride Vision sponsored Class 4 Boys. 150 meters. And of course, this is the Stride Vision TV Athletic Series number one here at the Wesley Powell. Memorial Development Meet here at Excelsior High. The 24th staging of the event. Section 2. The Stride Vision sponsored. Class 4 boys, 150 meters. And uh, the athletes were held in the set position for a while. Axe to stand yet again. Off they go this time. And uh, the man from St. Catherine, Marco Dean Henry, looks to have the early initiative. Into the straight they come now. Jade Allen Seaford, Daniels of Excelsior, Reynolds of St. Jago. And also on the outside there, another St. Jago man. But the man from St. Catherine, Marco Dean Henry, 19.24. Marco Dean Henry of St. Catherine winning. Of course, the man from St. Catherine coming home with the win. St. Catherine, in the past couple of years, have been doing some serious work on both the boys' and girls' side. Sanjay Davison comes to mind. Been a part of Jamaica's track and field team, fierce competitor in the class one sprints. Section three of the Stride Vision TV sponsored class four boys, 150 meters. Romaldo Wilson of Holy Trinity, Saheed Ashman of Kingston Technical, Mikhail Mitchell of Kingston College, Ajani Danville of Woolmer's Boys, Patrick Darby of St. Catherine, Marcus Page of St. Jago, Roshan Dunn of St. George's, Neymar Pinnock of Harborview, and Tiquan Riley of St. Holy Rose. Off they go and coming around already is the man from St. Jago, Page. He is coming into the straight now. And also there beside him is Harborview's Pinnock. So Page of St. Jago, though, is holding on to the lead and he's trying away to take it. And Woolmer's boys, Danville, comes through for second ahead of St. George's uh, Dunn. 19.88 for the man. Marcus Page of St. Jago.
Section 4 of 15, Class 4 Boys, Strive Vision TV sponsored 150 meters. Here at the Western Powell Memorial Meet is Javier Blair of Seaforth, Daniel Evans of Excelsior, Akil Graham of St. Jago, Daquan Delissa, St. Richards, Diamond Brand of St. Harbor View, Dino Napier of St. Catherine, Millie Cunningham, St. George's College. Joshua Scott Woolman's boys and Kemar McLennan of Cornwall, your competitors in the fourth of 15, the Stride Vision sponsored class four boys, 150 meters here at the Wesley Powell Track and Field Development Meet at Excelsior High. Off they go. Section four is Graham of St. Jago. Another St. Jago man is there as well. Era of Excelsior, Daniel Evans. Into the straight they come. It's Harborview's uh, Delissa, Brian of Harborview. And on the outside is Woolman's boys, Joshua Scott. And he's coming down to the wire, very close going. Could be the man from St. Jago, Graham, Akil Graham. The Woolman's fair of Scott was there as well. So St. Jago's uh, Akel Graham taking the win, 20.72 with the winning time. Section 5 of 15, the Stride Vision TV sponsored, Class 4 boys, 150 meters, Wayne Martin of St. George's, Roger Grant, Seaforth, Zaire Roberts of Harborview, Joshua Lewin of Kingston College, Trevoy Green of Cornwall College, Damian Lewis of St. Richards, DeAndre Myers of Woolmer's Boys, Anil Patrick of Holy Rosary, and Jamar James of Seaforth. On their marks. Off they go, fifth of fifteen. Woolmer's, or rather Cornwall, Trevoy Green, Lewis of recent Richards, and uh, DeAndre Myers of Woolmer's boys. Into the straight they come, and it's all about Myers of Woolmer's. He's holding a big lead on the pack, and he tries away to take it in 18.91. The man from Cornwall College runs into second. So, Woolmer's boys, DeAndre Myers, the winner there. 18.93, the official time. Section 5 of 15. The Stride Vision TV, sponsored, Class 4 boys, 150 meters. Thank you. 
So the sixth heat coming up. Stride Vision sponsored. Class 4 boys, 150 meters. Six of 15. Sanion McLeod of Kingston College. Cavani Welch, Harborview. D. Journey Morgan of Harborview. Sequoy Williams of Harborview. Duante Ranger of St. Richard's. Mitchell Bentley of Seaforth. John J. Mars of Woolmers. Prince Rochester of Harborview. And Kevin Deacon of Excelsior. On their marks. Off they go. And the man in the inside there is McLeod of Kingston College. On the outside there is Woolmers. Uh, Myers, Andre Myers in the middle there is St. Richard's Ranger but the man from Kingston College now he holds the lead on the outside there is Kevin Deacon of Excelsior and uh, winning it the man from Kingston College Shanion McLeod 20.42 and Deacon holding on for second Myers for Woolmers third 20.34 the time for Sanyon McLeod of Kingston College. Section 7 of 15, Strive Vision TV, sponsored, class 4 boys, 150 meters. Kingston College's Brandon Bennett takes the early initiative. Dravion Drysdale of Seaforth and Spencer of Woolmer's boys. But it's all about the man from Kingston College, Brandon Bennett. He is leading another KC man out there as well, or rather it's an unattached man. And here he comes now, the man from Kingston College, Brandon Bennett, Anton Morgan, unattached second, but he's in the Kingston College top. So it's a KC 1-2 there, Brandon Bennett and Antoine Morgan, 19.93. For the man from Kingston College, section 7 of 15, the boys class 4, 150 meters. So this is the 8th of 15, Tri-Vision TV sponsored, class 4 boys, 150 meters. Another KC man, Iwaro Lewis, he's holding the lead. He's challenged by Lee of Tatius Golding, but coming home with a win, the man from Kingston College, Iwaro Lewis, 20.13, the time awarded to Lewis from Kingston College. Jaden Lee of Tatius Golding, holding on to the second position.
9 of 15. The boys class 4, 150 meters. Strive Vision TV sponsored the class 4 boys, 150 meters. And into the straight, there are they coming now. It's Wilmer's uh, uh, Hamilton, Gordon of Winner Road. So it's a close battle. On the outside there as well is Wilmer's boys, Marsh. And they are coming out onto the wire. And the man, Sky Marsh, or rather... Mar Sky, Wilmers, and uh, those are your competitors. Section 10, Section 11 coming up. Odeo, Odeno Pego of Tasha Scolding, Darren Thomas, Seaforth, Nicoy Watson of Kingston College. Omar Brown of Holy Rosary, Sean Robinson of Harborview, Oraldo Martin of Flankers, Maurice Reed of St. Richards, and Renil Burke of St. Jago, the Stride Vision TV sponsored athletic series. And of course, this is the Stride Vision TV sponsored class four boys, 150 meters. I urge all of you to enjoy your life. The precious moments you have. To spend each day with some laughter and some thought. You should have your emotions move to tears. Louis Zamperini, he's just extraordinary. His whole life was about all the lessons he learned from the resilience of the human spirit. To persevere, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. West Paul Memorial Meet at Excelsior High School. And you're witnessing class for action the boys. Class 4, Child Vision TV sponsored, 150 meters. So the 10th heat coming up. So we have Rakelia Burton of St. Richards, Tashi is Pauling of Harborview, Dujon I, Da Costa of Harborview, Roshin Howard, of, he's running unattached, Tafari Irving of Mona, Amari O'Sullivan of Harborview, Sky Marsh of Woolmer's Boys, and Jer Allen St. Jago and Jason Pitter, Kingston College. So the last event there won by the man from Tasha Scolding. So 10 of 15. Class 4 boys, 150 meters. Stride Vision sponsored event. Stride Vision TV. The Stride Vision TV athletic series number one for 2022 2023. Clean break by the man from Da Costa from Harborview. Howard uh, of uh, running on a touch to far right, Irving of Mona. And on the outside there, uh, Jason Pitter into the straight. They come in the middle of the pack. And uh, it's close going up between the two Kingston College athletes. So it's Peter of Kingston College and Howard also of uh, Kingston College who is running unattached. He's second but under the Kingston College jersey. And it's Jason Peter, 19.561, the official time for Jason Peter in section 10 of the boys. Class 4. Strive Vision TV sponsored. 150 meters. Here at the Wesley Powell Memorial Meet at Excelsior High School. Section 11 of 15 coming up. Thank you. 
So Adeno Page of Tatius Golden. Thomas of T4. Holy Rosa Robinson Martin of Flankers. Maurice Street of St. Richards. Into the straight they come. And it's all about the man from Kingston College. McCoy uh, Watson. But St. Jago's Ronil Burke pulls away to win comfortably. 19 point weight. And running on the blind side and taking away the win in this 11th of 15 stride vision sponsored class 4 boys 150 meters next event 12 of 15 Jahil Davis of Seaforth Gillon Phillips of Flankers, Michael Napier of St. Catherine, Justin Brown of Cornwall, Danica Bowes of Harborview, Kavian Hamilton of Holy Trinity, Ajani Hazel of Winwood Road, and Philip Edwards of Kingston College. Off they go. Bowers of Harborview, Hamilton, Holy Trinity, Seaforths, uh, Davis. Into the straight they come. And driving forward on the, in the midfield. But on the inside is Jaheel Davis of Seaforth who comes away with the win. St. Catherine Michael Napier was closing as well. Justin Brown, Cornwall, but 20.20 the time for the man from Seaforth High, Jaheel Davis. So, we are now on to the 13th of 15. Class 4 boys. The Stride Vision TV sponsored. 150 meters. Dominico Grant of St. Catherine. Ashley May Campbell of Rock Hall. Shalando Anderson of Holy Rosary. Neil Hillary of Seaforth. Marquise Robinson of Harborview. Anthony West, St. George's College. Jaden McIntosh, PW Conquerors. And... Paul Shane Hibbert of Seaforth. They are competitors. And coming up after coming up after the 150 meters will be the 600 meters for class 1 girls. There will be two finals there. So they are on the way, and uh, the man from C4, Hillary Neal, in the middle of the pack. On the inside is man from St. Catherine, Dominico Grant. He is being challenged by PW Conquerors McIntosh, and PW Conquerors uh, Jaden McIntosh wins it 20.90 ahead of Dominico Grant of St. Catherine and Neil Hillary of C4. Jaden McIntosh, the winner, 20.82. For the man from PW Conquerors.
section 13, or rather 14, of 15, and the Strive Vision TV sponsor, the class four boys, 150 meters, Michael Mitchell of Seaforth, Trevor Green Cornwall, off they go, and uh, getting up very well, the man from Kingston College, Orande Campbell. Holy Rose says Loney follows him. Edwards of Holy Rose here, as well as Robinson of Harborview. But it's all about Randy uh, Robinson, Campbell Rather of Kingston College. He's all alone and he's striding home and he's going to win it in 18.86, the flash time. Others left in his wake. Harborview's Robinson and Seaforce down his Rogers. 18.86, the flash time. 18.92, the official time. Randy Campbell of Kingston College. That was your penultimate heat. And the final of the boys class four, Stride Vision TV sponsored 150 meters. You have just joined us, welcome. Good afternoon to you wherever you are. Good morning wherever you are. Good evening wherever you are. Of course, this is the first track meet of the season for 2022 2023 the 15th and final event in the stride vision tv sponsored class four boys 150 meters we have david campbell of mona king nugent of st george's Anthony Mattis of Foga Road, Aranesia Plummer of Harborview, Reynard Bygrave of Tatius Golding, Jace Madan of Wilmer's Boys, and Akeem Livingstone of Harborview. They're all for the final heat in the Class Vision TV sponsored Class 4 150 meters. We have Jace uh, Maran of Wilmer's Boys. He's holding a clean lead. Harbor Views Plumbers tries to follow him. And uh, it's going to be close, but Maran of Wilmer's is still holding on, and he's going to win it. 20.54. St. George's Nugent takes second. And the grave of Plantation's goal in third position so is Jace Maran of Wilmer's Boys. 20.56, the official time. The 15th of 15. Class 4 boys. 150 meters. Stride Vision TV sponsored.
All right, welcome once again here at the West Paul Memorial Track and Field Meet, the first event in the Stride Vision TV Athletic Series. Number one, Roger Hasfall here, joined by Mr. Dwight Fraser. Good afternoon to you, sir. Yes, afternoon to you, Raj. Um, my first foray into the new track season, 2022-2023. How has the morning been so far, Raj? Uh, quite hectic. I'm quite busy. There was a time when we had a 22 heat event, the class four girls, 150 meters. Look at that. 22 heats. My and goodness. Uh, there was 15 on the boys' side. So um, a lot of 150 running took place earlier. So at least, what, 37 heats between both genders? Uh, in class four. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so of course, you know, the teams are, um, the athletes are here, gearing up. And of course, on the track right now, it is the 600 meters. Yes, this is 600 meters. Yes. Class. Section 305, class one. One, boys. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in this eat is Tajay Taylor St. George's, Ravani Green St. Catherine, Franklin Taylor Fogoro, Demario Prince St. Jago, Kendra Gordon Excelsior, Xavier Brian Wilmers, David Shaman Casey, Johnny Barrett St. Jago, Joel Absalom Excelsior, Galvin Palmer Conwell, and Shamar Kenyon Morant Bay. So they come past the finish line for the first time, Raj. And the athlete of uh, Kingston College, David Salmon, dashes to the front. And tracking with him is Excelsior Gordon and Fogo Road in there as well, Franklin Taylor Roger. Yeah, so top three bunched up. The winner could come, will come from that group. I, indeed. Uh, we've done approximately 200 meters to go now, and we watch the athlete of Fogo Road, Franklin Taylor, pushing hard to surge in front and does so quite smoothly. With the Kingston College in there as well, David Salmon. But, but Fogo Road, Franklin Taylor, in fact, in the purple. Well, the man in purple from Kingston College trying to battle back. But Fogo Road's competitor, 796. What a finish, Raj. And the athlete of Kingston College finishing second. Crucial development meet this Excel Summit, Roger, because it happens so early in the calendar year before January when you'd have like the Gibson Relays, the Queen's Grace Jackson, the SW Isaac Henry's, and several others. It comes as a crucial point for the coaches to see where they are heading into Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The, you call it the opening meet of the 2022 2023 track and field season. Of course, you know, um, normally this event he held prior to Christmas. Then the whole track and field season kicks off proper in the first week of January. With the JC Water this, Trap meet? Yeah, but this is normally the opening meet of the season. Yes. 22nd renewal of the event and uh, a long-standing event on the track and field calendar. You know, when I spoke to somebody this morning, they were saying that they didn't know that the meet was so old. 22 st 20 second stage. It was as if it was yesterday that, that the event started. Look at that, Raj. Mm -hmm. And so here we are on Stride Vision TV. We say good afternoon, good morning, or good night, wherever you're watching uh, the broadcast. This is section four of five, competitor 318, Roger. That is Nathaniel Abrams of Gainstead, holds on to the lead. And the athlete of Excelsior now asks some question, Daniel Wright. And his opposite number, Roger Robertson, just tracking there at the back. Six, make that seven competitors in this one. And we wait to see what will transpire. 200 meters, both athletes now pull themselves away from the rest of the pack. It is competitor 318, Nathaniel Abrams of Gainstead. With the athlete of Excelsior now, assuming the lead by at least a meter advantage and into the straightaway they come in the 600 meters 
Section 4 Class 1 Boys event. And Age Animo Excelsior will take this one through competitor 848 of Excelsior. Well, in fact, it is Javon Pinnock of St. Diego, competitor 848, who have won it just ahead of the athlete of Gainsett, Natalie Labrams. Yeah, the man from Excelsior and uh, Jago, they were having a tussle then. St. Jago man finding something extra in the last 50 meters to come away with the win. <coughs> well, um, good, good in terms of, you know, the whole the background development where the athletes um, we, will want to test to see how fast they can go over this distance in their quest to compete in their pet event to see how far they reach at that distance and know how they can gauge themselves. So it's basically a background preparation for the middle distances and uh, also if you do 400 meters as well. So, uh, so the athlete they're running unattached is Davis. Rajon Davis competed at 948. Was opened up at least a 20 meter advantage, Roger, or 25 meter advantage. Yeah where the, the two athletes of Excelsior are still running into second and third spot at the moment. But it's Davis all alone, competitor 948 at the top of the lane as they come now into the final 100 meters of it all. And uh, Davis with good form and uh, exercising good finish of what is left in the tank to bring him home, competitor 948, as we glance on the clock, 1 minute 28. And uh, competitor 190, Roger of Excelsior, uh, finished second in this one. Yeah, 129.47, the official time. And uh, Excelsior athletes running as a team. And uh, in the end, one of their men would have come out on top. And it's a uh, yeah, so Excelsior finishing second, Roger. Lavar Berrick, competitor 190. And 1 minute 29.47, the winning time for Roger and Davis running unattached. I remember 600 meters I saw, Roger, and that was years ago. And I know you're a track and field analyst of great repute and good memory, too. Uh, Daniel England and, of course, Price. I don't remember his first name of Camperdown. Uh, they run a 600 meters and I give the relays and somehow that race stayed with me forever. One minute 19 Roger. I don't remember the splits behind the 19 but trust me that was a humdinger of a race. <laughs> and whenever you call that name and back in the day you know that would have been a fierce com com competitor in Daniel Indeed. England and the rest and um, you know always bring back memories always like ahead of his time in terms of what he did and so on certainly roger as we look now to the track and this is the men's 600 meters roger uh rodane r scott running on attach royal campbell on attach jamon allison on attach from michael antoine williams on attach is ryan weber vps andrew williams and running on attach is tajay parker so five competitors turn up competitor 964 leads them through the tape in this first lap it's interesting to note, though, that uh, of the nine competitors, only five have shown. Competitor 964 is Andrew Williams of VPS. He's quickly swallowed up immediately by the rest of the pack as they go now just about uh, less than 400 meters. And now tightly bunched. Some pushing and boring going on now. 400 meters completed. 
with another 200 to run here on Stride Vision TV. This is a 600 meters dash for clubs and institution men. And we're, you're watching live action from the Wesley Powell track and field meet at Excelsior High School on Mountain View Avenue. They come now with approximately 110 meters to go. And the man in bright orange leading them home at this juncture. Having slight trouble from a competitor a meter or so behind. But he will lead them through the tape. Competitor 929. Not seeing his name on paper. 126.62 Roger, the flush time. Well, apparently entered the race a bit late. His name was not on the not official on list. The paper. Not, not, not at all. But he did run a good race. But uh, perhaps we'll get his name, um, confirmation of his name in just a while, if possible. But nonetheless, it was a good finish and good background work, Roger, as we said. In these 600 for the athletes, slated to run the 800 meters, the 1500 meters, and the mile come later on uh, at the track meet, Rog. Yeah, looks as if it's a collegiate athlete testing the waters here. And uh, he moves away from the area. So good win for him, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Looks we as if he's an 800 man. We move over now into the 600 meters for class 2 athletes as we look at an athlete from Wilmers. As we look at the athlete from Wilmers getting some medical assistance near our broadcast point as two short time medical personnel from the short time medical team assisting him off the trackside Raj. Oh! Bumping and boring an athlete have fallen this one, but there was a second gone which brought them back to the start. Yes, um, some fierce activity there in terms of trying to get the step on the next person, and uh, apparently <laughs> it didn't uh, go all too well. And uh, you know, there was some bumping and crashing, as you said, and uh, they, they, they had to call back the race. Yeah, so the lineup. Angel Stevenson of Excelsior, competitor 177. Daniel Campbell, Wilmer's Girls. From Morant Bay, Kamoy Johnson. St. Catherine, Alia Morgan. As well as Casey D. Fuller, representing Alpha. From Excelsior, Aggie Animal, Zayasa Oakley. Suez Lawrence of Wilmer's Girls and Hero Circle. Charlia Whitaker represents Excelsior. And in there too, from Mulgrove, is Alicia Smith. This is... Section 1 of 2 in the 600 meters class 2 girls event. Event called back. Athlete was tripped up in the first time of asking. So what about the other events this thus far in the morning session, Raj? Apart from the 600 meters. We have had the 150 meters for, from classes 1 down to 4. Okay. And also there was a 5,000 meters open for boys and the 3,000 meters open for girls. So we haven't missed much then? Yeah, they, had, they, they are running behind time schedule, but yeah, I think they are trying to get back on track. So, 600 meters class 2 girls event. Nine competitors listed, eight on track. Competitor 760 is the one who leads Alia Morgan of St. Catherine. And immediately behind her is Angel Stevenson of Excelsior in second place so they've gone approximately 300 meters now and the athlete of uh, alpha catching alia morgan the leader of saint catherine opens up a little advantage between herself and the athlete running there for Morant Bay, Kimoya Johnson, with approximately 200 meters to go now, St. Catherine's Alia Morgan, stepping up in class, did reasonably well last year in class three. As we say, good afternoon as well to Michael and Lindo, who is also from St. Catherine, a good team St. Catherine with a four by four last year in the boys section, Roger. And here comes 
Alea Morgan of St. Catherine leading them home. Basically shutting it down now. And to come across the line in the first heat. 1 minute 48.83. And Excelsior's competitor 165. Zacia Oakley will finish second. 148.83 the winning time for the athlete of St. Catherine, Alia Morgan. So we look now to event. So we continue with event number 17, section 2. Kevoya Bartley of Excelsior, Sandra Grant St. Catherine, Jordan Roberts Wilmers. Kayla Emily Harris of Excelsior, Amoya Corley, Merle Grove, Aisha Green, Gainstead, Dominic Bell, Tatius Golden, and Alcia Henry of Alpha. So this now is section two, event 17. So seven competitors in this one of the eight listed on track and taking them through the line immediately is competitor 749 Sandra Grant Sandra Grant of St. Catherine and on her outside representing Excelsior is Emily is Kayla Emily Harris so these two competitors will take them down the back straight away in this section two of the girls 600 meters event here on stride vision tv we'll be going into the boys class two equivalent in just a while so as the athlete of excelsior loses some degree of power the opposite is generated through saint catherine sandra grant who pulls away looking like a true competitor in these early seasons of a the track and field calendar looking her looking at her she's really looking strong in her finish my goodness and just finding some extra fuel in that tank and she will take them home at least a 60 meter gap competed as 751 another win for st catherine in this 600 meters class two girls event the flash time is one minute 39 33 So Excelsior finishing second and third in this event. Raj. Uh, definitely a uh, great run from the youngster from St. Catherine High who have been developing a nice program over the past uh, close to a decade now or you know for the last couple of years. St. Catherine have been producing some outstanding athletes. So the, the next event on the track is uh, the 600 meters class two boys and looking on the track we're seeing nine make that 11 competitors line up san diego kibbert carrier andrew walker from seafort revel wilson of san diego excelsior with chris smith and antoine daly cornwall college amar richards excelsior's jerome nicholson richard edwards mona aiden walkin wilmers Jean Lou Ramiki Cornwall and Javon Corson and Catherine, along with St. George's Javier Huge. So, leading them through the line at the tape on the first leg, of course, is Cornwall College's Amar Richards. I'll make that Mona leading through Andrew Edwards, competitor 573, with St. George's College gone second. Javier Haig. As we look now to the athlete in third place, seem to be Wilma's boys, Aiden Walkin, pushing and trying to seize the initiative at 200 meters to go. But here is another athlete in gold and blue, unable to identify that athlete just yet at this mark. If he's strong enough to hold on, it remains to be seen. It is competitor 200. That is Antoine Daly of Excelsior. Leads him in the turn and into the straightaway. 
Daly himself fading now and coming on the inside from Excelsior Eagles. Jerome Nicholson of Excelsior will lead him home and he will take it. And the man finishing second. So 1.35.16 the time for Nicholson. As we get set now to head into section two. And then we'll throw it back to Roger Haswell, who certainly have been doing yeoman service from this morning along with the technical crew. And of course, our cameramen of Stride Vision ensuring that we keep you up to speed of what's happening on this the first track meet of the season. Kingston College being defending champions, Roger, at uh, Boys Championship. And Edwin Allen, defending champions at Girls Championship. They too should be represented here thus far. I've seen Kingston College. I've not seen Edwin Allen. Roger just confirming that they're not here at this meet. So the next event on the track is section 2 of 4 of the 600 meters class 2 boys event. Romaine Clark, Cornwall College, Kishon Hoffman, Excelsior, Tevon Thomas of Atatius Golden, Papin Ronaldo McGowan, St. Jago's Denro Robinson, Danswell Kane, Excelsior, Holy Trinity, Roshane Campbell, Ricardo Carr, Morant Bay, Raheem Russell, Tatius Golding, and Tavian Cena of Seafood High. So they come now upon the first lap and leading them through the tape seem to be Teva seem to be Tevon Senior of Seaford High will confirm that in just a bit the man in green with two competitors trying to chase as they come now on the back straight away the previous heat the time was 135 16 135 16 we wait to see if this competitor will have dashed to the front can hold on to that lead looking strong at this stage so the competitor tall and lanky stretching and striding away so it is Ricardo Carr of Morant Bay the confirmation coming now competitor 598 He was going for the record, Roger, but uh, didn't get it. Record 125. And failing to at least equal the mark, he ran 1 minute 28.20. Not bad to be pushing for records so early in this season, especially if you're in uh, a good form, Roger. Of course. I mean, you ought to go out there and test the waters and see how, how, how fast you can go, how fast the body can cope, how, what, you can, what your body can do to adjust um, during and after a race and so on. So it's just one of those things now that you just have to, have to push. It's still background, still early days. So, you know, nothing is wrong with attempting to, to break the, 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 the track record. Uh, going so off for, for a national record is a different, total different, totally different story nonetheless. So Roger now will take you from here on through to the finish. This is section 3 of 4 in the 600 meters class 2 boys. Alright, thank you very much Dwight. So, we have the likes of Malik Nugent and uh, Romain Davison on Otter Bay. McKinley of St. George's, Campbell of Middlebrook. Approaching the first 200 meters. The man from Kingston College, Tyrese Burton carries them across the finish line for the first time. So the man from Mona now who searches to the lead, Kevin Bliss. Nugent of Excelsior moves into second. So the top two, Kevin Bliss of Mona 
and uh, Malik Nugent of Excelsior. St. Catherine Barker left back. So to the man from Kingston College, Burton. But the one from Mona opens up 10, 15 meters now. He looks strong. The man from St. Catherine now will try to reel in. The man in second place. Mona is holding on. Barker trying to reel in the field. Barker now moves into second. Kevin Bliss holding on for first place. Still Bliss from Mona. And Mona will take them home. Kevin Bliss. 129. 131.94. And Barker of St. Catherine takes second. Tyrese Burton, Kingston College third. 1 minute 31.94. For the man from Mona. Kevin Bliss. Section 3 of 4. The boys class 2. 600 meters. And certainly, the Mona fraternity enjoyed that win. Certainly enjoyed that win. The other athletes from Mona celebrating. Quite happy with their, at their colleagues' victory in that event. Section 4 of 4, class 2 boys, 600 meters. DeMarco Bennett of Excelsior. Will Kirk James of Excelsior. Buckle of St. Jago. Roshan Dale of Tatius Goling. Four competitors, in five competitors in this event. And uh, the man from Excelsior. Takes the lead early. So the man from Excelsior, Bennett, who takes them across the line the first time. And uh, there is Edwards from Excelsior. So Bennett from Excelsior continues to lead. Tight little bunch. And Daniel Wellington in second for Tatius Goling. So the man from St. Jago now steps up to challenge. That's Rashad Buckle at the 200 meters mark. It's the Marco Bennett still with the lead. St. Jago's Buckle now moves into second. Will this be a blanket finish? Coming around now, Buckle drives forward. Challenges Bennett from Excelsior. Into the straight they come. Buckle on the outside. Bennett on the inside. Buckle driving forward. Bennett. Can Bennett hold on? It's still a close battle. Bennett holding on. Buckle driving forward. Bennett on the inside. Buckle on the outside. And Bennett from Excelsior takes it. Ahead of Buckle from St. Jago and the man from Tatius Goling. Third, Roshan Daly. 1 minute 31.45. For the man from Excelsior, the Marco Bennett. Section 4 of 4 in the boys class 2. 600 meters. If you have just joined us, welcome once again. Four competitors. 
five competitors. This is the class three girls, 600 meters. We have Chong from Woolmers Girls. St. Hughes Davis, Natasha Davis. And they are coming into this home straight for the first time. So it's Davis from St. Hughes who takes the early lead. And there's Excelsior's Amanda Bailey and Woolmer's Girls Chung. So St. Hughes, Natasha Davis. Chong of Woolmer's in second. Josetta Longbridge of St. Hughes. She's the leader. St. Hughes have quite a few athletes in this event. So the bunch is getting a bit tighter. Ferguson of St. Catherine steps into the picture too. Ferguson reels in the field. Woolmer's Renee Chong. Surges to the front. Chong from Woolmers. Ferguson from St. Catherine. Into the straight they come. Ferguson trying to close the gap on Davis. Or, or, or rather Chong of Woolmers. Ferguson from St. Catherine now drives forward. Ferguson now strides away to take it. Ahead of Chong from Woolmers. And here comes Excelsior's Amanda Bailey for third. 1 minute 52.92. The time accredited to Mahalia Ferguson from St. Catherine. First of three. And the girls class three, 600 meters. And off they go for the second section. Quite a few competitors in this event. We have seven competitors. We have the Merle Grove pair of Leanna Nib and Brianna Lemon. Into this home straight for the first time. So... The gains that athlete, Kendra Williams, took them across the line for the first time. Brianna Brown of Excelsior now. She moves to the lead. The champion athlete in second position. What is all about Brown from Excelsior, Brianna Brown. She opens up 25 meters to 30 meters on the pack. Brianna Brown still extends the lead. She moves to about 26 or so meters at the 200 meters mark. It's all about Brianna Brown of Excelsior. Champions Burnett in second. Brown now extends that lead to about 35, 40 meters. Pulling away all the time. And into the straight she comes. Brianna Brown of Excelsior. She's driving forward, all alone. Section two of three in the girls class three, 600 meters. And here she comes now, trotting home, all alone. One minute, 44.82, the flush time. Round of applause for the athlete from Excelsior by her colleagues. And... Uh, Coming in for second, Ms. Thompson from Campion, and Gainstead Highs, Kendra Williams. Section 2 of 3, the girls class 3, 600 meters. Michael, Harana, Harvey, Saint Catherine, also, Corey 
And off they go for the third and final section in the girls' class three, 600 meters. Not much competitors here. But it's early juggling. Hamilton from St. Hughes takes him across the line for the first time. And Hamilton of St. Hughes now will take them around the track for the final time. Hamilton, Neil Jade Allen of Campion. So we see a St. Catherine pair of Cecilia Moses, who now surges forward, and Raquela Walker, both of St. Catherine. So it's Moses of St. Catherine and Walker of St. Catherine, the top two. Campion Colleges, Allen in third place. So it's Moses of St. Catherine and her teammate, Walker. Will Walker steps up for a challenge. Into the straight they come. Moses holding on from her teammate, Rekela Walker. Moses holding on. Walker trying to drive forward. Walker will have to settle for second. As Cecilia Moses of St. Catherine wins in a minute, 49.13, section 3 of 3 in the girls, class 3, 600 meters. This is the Wesley Powell Memorial. And this is Stride Vision TV, Athletic Series, meet number 1 for 2022-2023. So next event will be the class three boys, 600 meters. Maluda Dixon, Morant Bay, Edward Phillip, Kingston College. Xavier, Alex Graham, Woolmers Boys, Royal Knight, Mona. Ethan Wright, Kingston College. Nevon Thompson, Seaforth. Jaden Campbell, St. George's College. Roshan Ramsey, St. Jago. Jelani Brown, Kingston College. Ricardo Street, Cornwall and uh, Jadine Heas of Excelsior. Early juggling in this first section. So, as uh, the athletes pass the fish line for the first time, it's Roshan Ramsey, who takes them into the final stretch or the final 400 meters. Ramsey of San Diego. And he's challenged by the man from Kingston College. There are three Kingston College athletes in this event. So Ramsey now 
along with the man from Kingston College, could be Philip Edwards or Edward Philip. Philip drives forward now for Kingston College. And into the straight they come. It's all about Kingston College right now, but can Ramsey do something special in this home straight? All about KC from North Street. Ramsey drives forward yet again for St. Jago. He had something in the tank. And here he comes away now. Roshan Ramsey from St. Jago. 1 minute 37.58 ahead of Edward Phillips of Kingston College. Another KC man. Jelani Brown for third. But 1 minute 37.58. And it's the man from St. Jago coming home with the win. Roshan Ramsey. This is heat number two. And it's the man Gregory McFarlane of Excelsior now with a comfortable lead. The KC pair of Jones, Jeremy Jones and Chamberlain. Also Anthony Drummond. But Gregory McFarlane leads by 35. Pulling away all the time. Second of three the boys class three 600 meters gregory ramsey representing well for excelsior he comes around at 150 meters gregory ramsey by 40 into the straight mac falling of excelsior all alone and he's been welcomed home by his home supporters. And Gregory McFarlane crosses the line. 136.22. The man from Campion College holds on for second. Leonard Facey. 136.32. The flash time still up there for Gregory McFarlane of Excelsior. And uh, Leonard Facey of Campion for second. And Jones from Kingston College third. In a short while, we'll be giving you some results from the events that have taken place from morning. As the athletes are still, some of the athletes are still finishing. Section 3 of 3 in the boys class 3. 600 meters coming up. And after this we'll be having the 300 meters on track. And off they go for the final event in the class three boys. 600 meters. 
We see the man from St. Jago early, r doing the early juggling, Roshane Richards. And uh, a host of St. Jago athletes takes the athletes across the finish line for the first time. So it's currently St. Jago 1, 2, 3. And the man from Cornwall College, Tavon Campbell, trying to break into the top three. But the St. Diego Trio having none of it. So it's all about St. Diego. One, two, three. Less than 150 meters remaining. St. Jago will definitely take the top three positions in this race. The team from Monk Street in St. Catherine, Spanish Town. Competitor 858. Roshan Richards of St. Jago. Not having the names, there's 859 as well as 858. But 855, Roshane Richards of St. Diego, the no doubt the winner. For this third and final section in the boys' class 3, 600 meters. Here at the West of Paul Memorial, it's the Stradivision TV Athletic Series for 2022 2023. The first stop, right here at the grounds of Excelsior High in St. Andrew. Earlier today, we had the running of the 3,000 meters open for girls. The event won by Serena Douglas of St. Catherine, 12 minutes 08.20. Ahead of Olivier Rochester of Michael, 1249.08. And Haldrina Headley of St. Catherine, 1324.48. Five thousand meters won by Jevon Wilson of Mavis Bank, eighteen minutes twenty four point two two. The overall winner for class four girls, one fifty meters, Woolmers girls, Ashira Kiriri, twenty point three eight, ahead of Rihanna Scott of the RHP, and uh, she clocked 20.43, and Gabriel Dennis of Campion, 20.46. The Class 3 girls event, 150 meters, won by Woolmers girls. Tiana Marshall, 19.33, head of Janelia Williams of Excelsior, 19.42, and Casey and Sewell of Woolmers girls, 19.79. Next event on the track, the 300 meters. Class 1 girls. There'll be four sections in this time final event. Class 2 girls, 150 meters, won by... Tracy Faulkner. Ahead of Omai Kentish and Casian Johnson of St. Catherine, 19.10. The time for Tashai Faulkner. 
the 150 girls. Michaela Gardner of Woolmers, 18.59, ahead of Jamara Patterson of St. Catherine, 19.08, and Hannah Charles of Woolmers Girls, 19.14. Six hundred meters class one girls. Jamara Patterson winning in a minute thirty nine point seven one in class one. And off they go for this first section. Class one girls, three hundred meters. And it is Wolmers. Could be Aja Edwards. Excelsior, De Shanique, De Shamique Douglas in the thick of things. They are coming into the street now on the outside. That looks to be Ulet of St. Catherine. Richie in the middle. It's White of Michael. And Excelsior Douglas. Douglas holding on. But here come Woolmers through Roy Wilkes. Clome Wilkes of Woolmers Girls, 44.45. Second heat. Deandra Kelly, Excelsior. Chenille Johnson of Excelsior. Vanessa Ward of Titchfield. Tickler Bennett of Excelsior, Davian Turner of St. Catherine, Zaylee Powell of Excelsior, Shakara Mitu of Woolmers Girls, Chrysanthemore of Chrysanthemore Daly of Excelsior, and Michaela Coombs, also of Excelsior. Your competitors listed for this second of four in the girls, class one, 300 meters. And off they go, it's a full field. And uh, Excelsior looks good at the moment. Kelly of Excelsior. On the outside, there's another Excelsior athlete in Michaela Coombs. In the middle, also for Excelsior, is Powell. Me too of Woolmers now steps into the picture. And into the straight they come. In the middle, it's Kelly off Excelsior. Kelly holds on on the inside. On the outside is Coombs. So it's Coombs, Excelsior, a one, two, three. Michaela Coombs winning it ahead of Bennett and Kelly. 41.27 the time there for Michaela Coombs out there in the outer lane, the blind lane, winning it. The second section, class one girls, 600 meters. There are four at least in this third section. And uh, Tushana Huey of Clan Carthy looks to be the dominant one at the moment. Huey of Clan Carthy moves past Peter Gay Julius of Morant Bay. Less than 100 meters remaining. Huey of 
Clan Carthy. She comes into the straight with a comfortable lead. Pisa Gay Julius of Morant Bay left back in second. And coming away with the victory is Clan Carthy's Tuyana Huey. 41.91. Second, Peter Gay Julius of Morant Bay. And third, Ashia Martin of Excelsior. But Trishana Huey of Clan Carthy takes the event in 47.25. Fourth and final section, the girls class one, six, 300 meters. Felicia Bridge of Kingston Technical. Monique Williams of Excel. Halima Biggs of St. Catherine. Jaden Smith of Excelsior. The Kenya Webb of Woolmers Girls. Kamaria Knight of St. Catherine. Kaylee Brown Excelsior. And Tanisha Benlos of Michael. Off they go. Webb of Woolmers takes the early initiative. Tracked by Jaden Smith of Excelsior and Monique Williams of Exed. But Kalia Brown of Excelsior looks good. In the middle, it's Jaden Smith, also of Excelsior. And another Exed athlete in Monique Williams. They are coming into the straight. Jaden Smith of Excelsior. Biggs of St. Catherine left back. Here comes Monique Exed and the bridge from Kingston Technical comes away with the win on the inside for the Class 1 boys coming up next. The long jump class 4 event for girls won by Stevanko Henry of Campion College 4.92 meters Head of Shensel Stewart of Excelsior and uh, Kelisa Barclay of Campion College. So there's a special race between two Michael athletes on track. And uh, there are two uh, more Michael athletes in this women's event. So the two Michael athletes there, they are going at it. Clark and Bogle. So it's a Michael 1 2 here. 43.36. The two Michael athletes there competing. Clark ahead of Coombs. So the class three girls long jump. Zavi Harvey of Excelsior taking that event in 5.05 meters. Ahead of Shantai Price of Excelsior, 4.78 meters. And Renee Esco of Woolmers Girls, 4.44 meters. The long jump class two. Tashiana 
Leicester of Excelsior, 4.92 meters. Ahead of Aisha Green of Gainstead, 4.67 meters. And Toriana Isaacs of Gainstead, 4.50 meters. <coughs> So the class one boys 300 meters about to be run 12 finals are on and Fogo Rose Roberta Taylor looks to have the early initiative Tyrese Chambers of Papine up there as well and also there is Emmanuel Christian of Campion so Fogo Rose Roberta Taylor now will take them into the home straight there's also Hall of Excelsior coming forward. In the middle there, it's Chambers of Papin. Papin highs, Tyrese Chambers. Very tall competitor, 37.55. So, so the man from Papin, Tyrese Chambers, wins the first section in the Class 1 boys, 300 meters. Section two, boys class one, 300 meters. And uh, making the early running, the Excelsior Trio, Darlington, Berwick, and uh, Clue. So Darlington of Excelsior, also Berwick, also of Excelsior. Papines, Ronaldo Taylor, on the inside. Into the straight they come. It's Tyrese Clue of Excelsior now with the lead. On the outside, it's St. Jago's Javon Pinnock. And Javon Pinnock strikes to the front. And Javon Pinnock will run away with it. 36.26. The flash time. Javon Pinnock of St. Jago. Running on the blind side on the outside lane. Reeled in the field. Got them. Then pulled away in the end. The man from St. Jago, Jeff Horn Pinnock. So the third of 12. We have Daniel Wright of Excelsior. Okino Johnson of St. Jago. TJ Gordon of Exed. Jermaine Dudley of Mona. And there are only three competitors in this event. And it is the man on the inside, Exed, TJ Gordon. Into the straight they come now. And on the inside, it's the man from St. Jago, Okina Johnson, who snatches the lead. And Johnson of St. Jago will pull away. Rooms of Cornwall runs in for second, while the man from Exed, Tajay Gordon, takes a third spot. But it's Okina Johnson of St. Jago with the win. Fourth of 12 coming up. We have Joel Codrington of Morant Bay. Davin Tolo of Tatius Golding. Demaria Crooks of St. Jago. Raheem Fagan, etc. 
Reynaldo Midwinter of Excelsior, Jamar White of Pepin, Horace Bunting of Seaforth, Cody McLeod of Unattached, and Antonio Calvin from Cornwall College. So this is section five, four rather, of the boys class two, 200, 300 meters. Crooks of St. Jago, Papines, Jamar White. Crooks of St. Jago holding on. White of Papin is there as well. Very close, 37.52. Close going. So, in the end, it's Jamar White of Papin who comes up with the win, 37.48, the official time. So, the fifth seat is coming up, but just to tell all viewers, we have our special guest with us, Daniel Cunningham. Marketing manager at Alaska. Of course, they are the distributors of the very refreshing eye cool water for life. Very refreshing indeed. They are traditional sponsors. Good afternoon to you, madam. Hi, afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, hot and cool at the same time. Yes, man. See, you refreshing the entire population here today at the Wesley Powell Memorial Meet. Tell us about your involvement with this meet. Yes, so when they asked, we said yes. It was an immediate connection. Obviously, I cool water, hydration, it makes sense, right? So we came out, we have I cool water here. We also have our reduced sugar I cool, which has 50% less sugar than the regular I cool. So that's really ideal for the youngsters. You know, the ministry is on a health kick right now, and we really want to, co we are complying. We have been from the beginning. So we have our reduced sugar, and we have our eye cool water to hydrate everyone here. All these runners, I feel tired just looking at them. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell us about your general involvement, though, in, 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 in sports and track and field generally. Oh, yes. So we used to do quite a few things. You know, with COVID, everything get licked down. Um, so we haven't done anything in a while. So this is really the first one that we have done here. I mean, we've been to JC Field. We've been doing quite a few of them in the years past. So when, when Wesley Paul came to us, we said, absolutely, we're on board. So we're happy to be here. Yes, of course. And you know, we're all about sports. We're all about youth. We just finished a bunch of school tours. So we're really and truly trying to get in with the youth. And tell me about that school tour. So. Oh my gosh, that was fabulous. So we also have our nutrition products, which is... Lasco Food Drink, I'm sure everybody knows of it. And Lasco Food Drink, we went into schools with Lasco Food Drink and iCool. Went into about six primary schools and we just wine and dine the children. They had food drink and iCool till them full and we did games and played all these things with them. So it was really good. And tell me about your refreshing flavors and so on if you care to. Oh yes, absolutely. So if I focus on our, our reduced sugar, I can tell you right now we have iCool reduced sugar um, fruit punch. We have guava pan, which everybody knows, guava pan, guava pan, right? Melon berry, and we have grape as well. So four amazing flavors, and they're all at reduced sugar. Yes, and of course, there is also the very important water proper. Yes, I cool water for life, of course, always here. And you know, we have several sizes of that. We have the one that I see a lot of the high school kids taking the 1.5 that will last them for the whole day and keep them hydrated. And then, of course, we have our 500 ml and our 330. So we have quite a few things. It's a long track season. I'm sorry, I'm, this is only the last time we'll be seeing your face. <laughs> you know, right? We'll be there. <laughs> 
hydrating them all. And any additional things you might want to leave with us regarding you know, your products and your general involvement? Yes, no, I just, you know what, we have loved Jamaican yeah, people, yeah. obviously, and we have yeah. been around for a while. Lasco is actually 35 next year, so you can imagine. And iCool is from 2013, iCool was launched, and we've had such a great following, and we really appreciate all Jamaicans, and we are here to help them. And in events like this, we're here to support. So iCool for life. Almost a decade in the making and going strong. Yes, very much so. I don't know if you know my chairman, but we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. Okay, my lady, thank you very much for speaking with us. Daniel Cunningham, the marketing manager at Lasco. And of course, they're our sponsor here, the Wesley Paul Memorial Chuck and Field Meat at Excelsior. And their products, there you can see it. Water eye cool, fruit punch, berry, and uh, what else? Grape. And go up a pine, anything. All of them. Thank you very much, Daniel. All the best. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So they heard it from Daniel Cunningham, the marketing manager at Lasco. And of course, we are here now for section what? Six or seven of the boys class two or rather class one. 300 meters. So the man from Cornwall College on the outside and St. Jago on the inside. Third is 7.61. And we'll be speaking shortly with another of the sponsors here, the West of Paul Memorial, in a short while. All right, speaking now with Kareem Medley. He is the marketing coordinator at PA Benjamin Manufacturing Limited. He joins us now. Good afternoon to you, sir. Hi, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing fine. And which one of your products are the sponsors of today's event? So we are actually sponsoring the 
the brand sponsoring today is actually P. Benjamins. That is our personal care line, our relief line, and our home remedies. So if you look over there, you see one of our banners, our relief banner. That's one of our um, home remedies, personal pharmaceutical. So we have, you know, our relief colon, flu, sinus, any illness, anything that you're feeling, we have something to take care of you. Yeah. So you said, we'll repeat them, the relief, what, 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 are, what, are, what are they again? Some of the products that we have on display today, our booth is over there. One of some of the products that we have on display today is the Benjamin's Relief Cough and Cold, Benjamin's Relief Flu. So if you're having flu symptoms, we also have our Benjamin's Relief Sinus. We have a range of products. These are, these are what, what you call traditional medicines? This is what Jamaican people call medicine or tablets or what? Oh, so it's not tablets actually. It's, it's what you drink. Yeah, so you know, when you go to the pharmacy, you pick, up it up, you pick it up off the shelf, you get a bottle off the shelf. We also have our vanillas, our flavorings, because you know, coming around to Christmas time, everybody has to use quality to cook with, so you know, the quality is Benjamin, you know, so yeah. Benjamin vanilla, I know that's a hit. And we actually, we actually have a range of flavorings, actually. We have Benjamin's vanilla flavoring, which is the original one that everybody knows, but we also have Benjamin's vanilla berry, you know, so it gives that strawberry flavoring, vanilla spiced, mixed spice. We even have a range of extracts, cinnamon, strawberry, lemon, ginger. So when you're mixing your sorrel, you can get some ginger extract from Benjamin. We have something for everybody. As a family brand that has been around for over a century, 143 years, we have something for everybody. So even our athletes that are running here today, we have blue ice. So you know when you're growing up and your mother have the, the rubbing in the fridge, that's the Benjamin's blue ice. So you take it out and you feel a little pain in your leg, you take it out, you rub it on, fast acting, quick relief. We have something for everybody. So talk to us about your general involvement with, um, you know, uh, the involvement with today's Wesley Paul Memorial Track and Field Meet. As, a, as I said, a family brand, we take pride in helping with any kind of development that we can as it relates to our youth, the youth of the future. So if there's any way in which we can invest in their development, we're happy to do so. And we commend the Excelsior High School family for putting on this track meet year after year, investing in the student athletes because we know this is one way in which students are able to move forward in life and to elevate themselves and just to do better. And if we as a brand and a company can help to make that happen, we will definitely do that. Okay, and uh, any additional things you might want to leave with us? Off the top of your head, I mean, just regarding, you know, P.A. Benjamins and so on. I mean, just ensure that when you go to the supermarket, you get quality. And the quality is Benjamins. Benjamins, a trusted name for over a century. A century, you know, it's a long time. We know what we're doing. Yeah. So maybe when you reach 200 years, you're going to say a trusted name for over two centuries. <laughs> That's good. That, that could be your, 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 um, your, 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 because we, we don't plan to not be around. A millennium. We don't plan to not be around anymore. We'll always be around. <laughs> so long as Jamaica has a need, we will be around. Uh, yeah, Benjamin. All right. I want to thank you very much, um, Kareem Medley. Thank you for having me. He's a marketing coordinator at PA Benjamin Manufacturing Limited. And of course, they are a sponsor here at the Wesley Powell Memorial Track and Field Meet. And we are having the running now, the boys class one, 300 meters. All right, so three.
competitors in this event. This is the 11th of 12, 300 meters for class one boys. And it's all about Gainstead's Benjamin, Nathaniel Abrams, that is. Von J. Brown of Anato Bay there. Nathaniel Abrahams of Gainstead holds a comfortable lead. White of Kingston High tries to close but slows down in the end. And uh, third 7.80, the time for Nathaniel Abrahams. White of Kingston High. Those are your competitors in this event. So for the World Cup fans, the second game currently on the way. And it's France 1, England 0. The last of the quarterfinals. And uh, it's all about Kashane Williams of St. Jago now motoring along and motoring into the lead. The others left behind in his wake. They include Excelsior's Raheem Walker and Walker of Seaforth as well. But the man, Kashin Williams of St. Jago, he comes into the lead now all alone. Can man from Excelsior reel him in? No. And coming away with the win, Kashin Williams of St. Jago, ahead of Raheem Walker of Excelsior and Nicole Crooks of Cornwall College. 38.85 30 38.05 The time there for the man from St. Jago So if you are just coming from Mars or somewhere down in the universe earlier today Morocco eliminated Portugal in their quarter-final encounter at the World Cup. Morocco becoming the first African team to book a spot at the FIFA World Cup Finals. The first African team to book a spot in the semi-finals. So they have gone one better ahead of the likes of the Cameroons and uh, also Ghana. So Morocco eliminating some close countries to them, actually, across from the Gibraltar Strait, Spain in the round of 16, and Portugal, who share same land, land border with Spain. This is... The class one boys. In fact, this is the men's event. And we'll just tell you the name at the end of this race. We have not the. In fact, here we are. Into the straight they come. Campbell on the outside. Richards of Michael. He comes forward now. Rishan Richards comes across to win it in 35.64. Ahead of Daniel Irving of Michael. 35.70 the time there for the man from Michael, Roshin Richards. The men's event, 300 meters for clubs and institution. The record was 35.84 and if this holds, this could be a new record. No, in fact, it's not a new record. 
Yes, it is a new record. Indeed, it is a new record. 35.71, erasing the old mark now. The old mark was 35.84 by Paul Henry last year. So a new record here at the Western Paul Memorial in the men's 300 meters. Rushing in Richards of Michael. Off they go for the second and final 300 meters for clubs and institution men. Andrew Williams, VPS, Jamil Young of Michael. Outside there is Hutchinson of Michael and Arscott, run attached. Rodin Arscott in the outer lane. He will take them into the straight. Rodin Arscott holds the lead. Here comes Young from Michael, Jamil Young from Michael, but Arscott will hold on for the victory. 36.91 the time there for the man who is running unattached, Rodane Arscott, ahead of Jamil Young of Michael. So this is class two girls, 300 meters, first of seven. Shakira Roden of Excelsior, very busy at the moment at the top. Tamari Bryce of Papine, Christoph Mona, Oliver of St. Catherine. On the outside, it's Meadowbrook's Angel Strutt. Into the straight they come. Shakira Roden of Excelsior though, all alone. Here she comes, striding home to win. 43.28, the flash time. Angel short of Meadowbrook into second. Tasha Scolings, uh, Bentley third. 43.28, the time for Shakira Roden. Of Excelsior.
second of seven, class two girls, 300 meters. Samoya Brown, Immaculate. Akelia Williams of Alpha. Kendra McKenzie, Woolmers Girls. Shawnee Morgan of Excelsior. Amoya Cawley of Mergrove. Alia Persona Rollins, she's running on attach. Shanice Straw of Kingston Technical. And Jaisha Bailey of St. Catherine, your competitors. For section two of seven in the 300 meters. For class two girls here, the Wesley Powell Memorial on Stride Vision TV, the first in the Stride Vision TV series for 2022, 2023. The track and field season. Roger Haswell here. Earlier we had Dwight Fraser with us. And of course, I want to thank the technical team as well, doing a splendid work in terms of providing pictures here at the West Paul meet. So only three competitors for this event. So, Coley of Merle Grove and Straw, or rather Pessoa, who is running on attach. Alia Pessoa Rollins. She's all alone. Carly of Mergrove in second. But Alia Pessoa, she's running on attach. She comes home with the victory. 45.06. Carly of Mergrove second. And the third place going to. The athlete from Merle Grove. So 45.06 the winning time. Four competitors in this third section. On the outside is Charlia Whitaker of Excelsior. There's also Morgan of St. Catherine. So, there's Burkler of Meadowbrook up in the thick of things as well, as well as Alia Morgan of St. Catherine. Rounding into the straight now. It's walk on the outside for Excelsior. On the inside now, snatching that lead away, it's Morgan of St. Catherine High. And Morgan of St. Catherine High now comes away, and she's going to win it by five or six meters ahead of Excelsior's Charlia Williams. Whitaker rather, and Meadowbrook's Alika Berger, 42.70. Rolling quite along, four of seven, 300 meters. Tej Orley Curtis of Papin in one, Angel Stevenson Excelsior. Casey Ann Johnson, St. Catherine, Kayla Emily Harris of Excelsior, Rihanna Reed of Merle Grove, T. V. Spike of Meadowbrook, Stevenson of St. Hughes, Amara Stevenson, Kamoya Johnson of Moran Bay, and Daniel Noble of Wilmer's Girls. Girls class two, 300 meters. They go to their marks. Mm -hmm. 
Off they go. Johnson of St. Catherine gets up well. And uh, Reed of Merle Grove, Spike of Middlebrook. Moran Bays, Casey Johnson, Kamoya Johnson. They are coming around in a bunch at the top. On the outside as well as Wilma's girls, Daniel Noble. So, we have in the midfield Casey uh, Johnson of uh, St. Catherine. Harris of Excel in second. But it's all about the athlete from St. Catherine, Casey Ann Johnson. 42.30, 42.33. Ahead of Kayla Emily Harris of Excelsior and Woolmer's Girls, Daniel Noble. 42.33, the winning time for Casey Ann Johnson of St. Catherine. Heat four of seven, the girls class, two 300 meters. Off they go in the fifth heat of seven. Last two girls. And Excelsior's Taylor looking good. Woolmer's girls, Henderson as well. On the outside, we have the likes of Smith of Tatius Golding and Taylor of Excelsior. So into the straight they come. Taylor, Excelsior holds the lead. On the outside is Marshall. Smith of Tatius Golding. Here comes Wilmers from Henderson. Wilmers, Henderson. And uh, in the end, Wilmers girls, Henderson coming through, 45.13. Or rather, 1-9 the flash time. So this is the sixth of seven. And running very well is Legister of Excelsior. Woolmer's girls, Janiel Lowe. Jerry is Alwood of St. Catherine. So it's Alwood of St. Catherine. Into the straight they come. Excelsior's Legister. Woolmer's girls, Janiel Lowe. Lowe comes away with the win. Jamil Lowe of Woolmer's girls, 4 to 5.98 the flash time there. Second, uh, Tashiana Legister of Excelsior. Up there as well was Jerry's Alwood of St. Catherine. Six or seven. 300 meters. So the seventh of seven coming up. Class two girls, 300 meters. Alicia Smith, Merrill Grove, Daniel Campbell, Wilmer's girls, Daniel Lynn Alpha, Rihanna Williams, Tasha Scolding, Nikelia McGrath, Morant Bay. There are five competitors in this event. 
And uh, McGraw of Morant Bay up there. Behind McGraw of Morant Bay, Stacious Goldings, Rihanna Williams, and Daniel Lynn of Alpha. At the top is Kevona Bartley of Excelsior. Bartley of Excelsior. She will take them home in the straight. And into the straight they come now. Morant Bay is Nikhil McGraw left back. Williams of Kingston Technical. But Kevona Bartley of Excelsior will stride home to take it. Second place going to Rihanna Williams of Tasha Scolding. Third going to Daniel Lynn of Alpha. 45.83 the time. The seventh of seven last two girls, 300 meters. This is the first of 13, class 2 boys. Four competitors in this event. Excelsior's Danzel Kane. Outside there is Jaden Henry of Mona. And C Force Javon Ingram. So it's Ingram and Kane of Excelsior. Challenged by C Force Ingram. And they cross the line together. 40.26. Danzel Kane and uh, Javon Ingram. 40.26 the time here. Coming across for Danzel Kane of Excelsior. So that was a close finish there. Section 2 of 13, class 2 boys, 300 meters. Wesley Powell Memorial on Tried Vision TV. Join us on our YouTube and Facebook pages. So it's Daly of Morant Bay, Peart of Mona, Smith of Excelsior, Shano Francis of St. Catherine, Micah Edwards of Campion College, Denza Carter of Fogo Road, Morandre Campbell Pepin, Detarje Morgan of St. Jago, and Romaine Clark of Cornwall. Six competitors in this event. The man from St. Jago sprints out early, Detarje Morgan, and he takes charge. Excelsior's Chris Smith tries to stay with him. Also Papines Morandre Campbell. But the Taj Morgan of St. Diego holds the lead. He will take them into the straight. Here he comes. Papines Morandre Campbell in second. Closing inside there is Smith of Excelsior. But the man from St. Diego, the Taj Morgan, comes across the line. 39.61 the flash time. Second for Excelsior, Chris Smith. 
and uh, Morande Campbell of Papine for third. 39.68, your time in the second of 13. Time finals here at the Wesley Paul Memorial on Stride Vision TV. So the third of 13, class two boys, 300 meters, Paul Benson, Catherine, Matthew Cardoza, Mona, Jaden Myrie, Fogo Road, Jordan Fitzgerald, Mavis Bank, DeMarco Moore, Ornato Bay, Ademola, Orfona, Kingston Technical, DeMaria Brown, St. Jago, Richard Atkinson, Excelsior, and Romaria Morrison of Pepin, your competitors. Section three. Of 13. Off they go, a full field here. The man from Kingston Technical takes charge early. Beside him is Gerald of Mavis Bank. So, going around at the top, it's Atkinson of Excelsior up there too. So, More of Mavis or, or not today comes into the straight as well. So into the straight they come. Sit Gerald of Mavis Bank though. He took charge. And he's gonna take it. Second to the man from Fogo Road, Jaden Myrie. So Jordan Seat Gerald of Mavis Bank, 37 point. Eight one. That's your official time for Sitzgerald of Mavis Bank. Section three of thirteen. The boys, class two, three hundred meters. Off they go. The fourth heat. And the man from St. Jago, Jennings. He takes charge. Excelsus Johnson follows him. Also up there is Mona's Doreen Williams. But Jennings from St. Jago. Seaforth's Der Quan McGrath in the picture as well. Into the straight they come. And in the infield on the inside it's bent of st catherine he snatched the lead away from the rest he strides away to win 38.61 ahead of excelsior's jerome johnson But Paul Bent off St. Catherine, the winner there. So we have Vladimir Brooks, Wilmer's boys. Tahi J. Robertson, Wilmer's boys. Kimara Hines, Anatobe. Kimani Grant, Mona. Rikilmi Edwards, Excelsior. Tayshawn Latham of Meadowbrook. 
Dijon Woodbine of St. Jago, Johnny Bailey of Kingston Technical, and Stephen Bent of Cornwall College. And off they go for this fifth of 13. The man from St. Jago, Woodbine, takes the early initiative. Mona's Kimani Grant up there too. Meadowbrook Station, Latham. So they are coming around at the top of the straight. Mona's Grant with the lead. Closing in his lace arm of Meadowbrook. But it's all about Mona. Kimani Grant. He wins it. Ahead of Meadowbrook, Tayshawn Latham. And the man from St. Jago, Woodbine. 39.50. The time there for the man from Mona, Kimani Grant. Section 5 of 13. And the Mona supporters certainly happy for Kimani Grant, who took that heat. And off they go, it's a full field. And the man from St. Jago goes to work early. C4 Senior there as well. And on the outside, it's Reed of Kingston Technical. So, the man from St. Jago in the middle. Here he comes. Williams of Excelsior. Nugent. Senior. And Wright. But it's all about the man from Excelsior. Malik X in Nugent. 38.66. So an update from the FIFA World Cup, it's still 1-0 for France over England at halftime interval. Earlier today, Morocco knocked out Portugal, one goal to nil. So 7 of 13, Toyan Taff, Mona, 
Kwame Alexander St. Catherine, Benroy Robinson St. Jago, Christoph Barrett Woolmers, James Harrison, Ricardo Carr, Chevron Campbell of Fogger Road, and Shorter J. Thomas of Woolmers Boys. No athletes in one and two. It's a six competitor race here. Then Roy Robinson goes to work early for St. Jago. Has to step on the field. Ricardo Carr of Morant Bay stays with him. So Carr of Morant Bay now. Trying to stay with him is Woolman's boys, Christoph Barrett. St. Jago's Robinson. Who will take them into the lead? It's Morant Bay's Ricardo Clark. He now holds the lead. Then Roy Robinson tries to close. But the man from Morant Bay, Ricardo Carr, holds away to win in 38. Point one six for the man from Morant Bay. Section 8 of 13. So off they go for section 8 of 13. Elijah Campbell of Papin. He takes the early initiative at 150. There he goes motoring along. Can the field reel him in? Not yet. Stepping up to the party now is the man from Seaforth, Andrew Walker. Coming into the straight now. It's all about Elijah Campbell of Papin. Stepping into the picture now, Bennett from Excelsior. He steps forward now. Elijah Campbell of Papin holding on. And Elijah Campbell of Papin comes away. The German Gonzalez coach, Elijah Campbell. The Marco Bennett of Excelsior takes second. The time there, 37.43. For the man from Papin, Elijah Campbell. Nine of thirteen. J. 
Johnny McClymon from Meadowbrook. Aviani, Aviari Richards of St. Catherine. Errol Needham, Fogo Road. Kemar Thomas, Wilmer's Boys. Jadon Martin of Kingston Technical. Raheem Shorter of St. Jago. Mark Lander McClarty of Papine, Baldwin Young of Morinby, and Fenderson of Excelsior. Off they go. And the man from Papine, Mark Lander, stakes an early claim. He's tracked by the man from St. Jago, Raheem Shorter. So it's Shorter and uh, McClarty of Papine. On the outside there is uh, Excelsior's Fenderson. They are coming around. The man from Papine, McClarty, he takes them into the straight. McClarty of Papine. Henderson of Excelsior, McClarty of Papine, Henderson of Excelsior, coming down to the wire, and the man from Papine is going to take it, 38.67, a quick double there for Papine. We had Elijah Campbell winning the previous heat, and now Markland McClarty of Papine coming away with the ninth heat, 38.93, a good moment there for the German Gonzalez coach Papine High. So on to 10 of 13. We have Romario, Ramiro Bramford of Campion, Davian Houghton of Tatius Golding, Kishon Hoffman of Excelsior, Aki Morgan of Meadowbrook, Hugh Dane Tello, St. Jago, Elon Simpson, Fogo Road, Jaden Ewart of Woolmer's Boys, Romain Davison of Nardo Bay, and Giovanni Richards of Holy Trinity, your competitors. Full field. 10 of 13. This is the West Nepal Memorial Track and Field Meet here at Excelsior High. First track meet of the season here in Jamaica. Of course, it's part of the overall Stride Vision TV Athletic Series. And we are here to cover the 24th staging of this event named in honor of legendary Excelsior Principal Wesley Powell. And uh, early running there from Excelsior Powell, Hoffman, Tolo of St. Jago up there. Also, Ewart of Wilmer's Boys. So, three-man competitor right now. Into the home straight, they come. The man from Excelsior, Hoffman, huffing and puffing and blowing away. Kishan Hoffman of Excelsior opens up, pulling away by... 13 meters over Hugh Dane Toller of St. Jago. 38.90 for the man from Excelsior, Kishon Huffman. Next on track, 11 of 13, boys class 2, 300 meters. Tyrese Foreman of St. George's. Malaki Harris of Excelsior. Leon Parchment of Pepin. Cavill Dawkins of St. Catherine. Mickey Patterson, Woolmer's Boys. Michael Dwyer, St. Jago. Kahim Reed, Cornwall. Rocky Lee Drummond of Meadowbrook. And Paul Henry of Fogger Road. Your competitors. Off they go. Six. That took the start. Wilmer's boys, Patterson. Also there, Dwyer of St. Jago. On the outside is Meadowbrook's Drummond. Papine's Parchment. Into the straight they come. The man from St. Jago, Michael Dwyer, takes them home. Besides him is Parchment of Papine. And the parchment of Papine is there. Dawkins coming away. And in fact, it's a man 
from Mona, who comes home, not listed here. What's your name, sir? Daniel Pierce. Daniel Pierce of Mona, whose name was not listed here. He comes in at last minute and took the race in this event. Daniel Peart of Mona, the winner. So 12 of 13, class 2 boys, 300 meters. Nevada Peter Skill of another way. Nation Alberga, Excelsior. Deverell Christie of Kingston Technical. Richard Edwards of Mona. Canini Dixon of St. Catherine. Lorenzo Lawrence of Cornwall College. Antoine Daly of Excelsior. And Daniel Henry of Wilmer's Boys. Your competitors. For the 12th. Of 13. Off they go. It's a full field. The man from St. Jago. Excelsior. He goes to work. Mona Richard Edwards. He looks good for the moment. Behind him is Excelsior's uh, Alberga. Rakim Vaughan of uh, Papine. So they are coming around into the straight. It's... The man from Mona, Richard Edwards, into the straight. Mona celebrates again. Berger of Excelsior behind. On the outside there is Antoine Daly also of Excelsior. But here comes the man from Mona now. He strides away with the win. 36.42 the flash time. Richard Edwards of Mona taking the event. Section 12 of 13. 38.27, the time awarded to the man from Mona, Richard Edwards. Thirteen of thirteen. Kevin Bliss, Mona, Aidan Walkin of Bulmers, Christopher Redden, St. Jago, Ricky Lemon Reed, Excelsior, Horace Hines, Seaforth, Maria Birch, Cornwall, Omario Gibson, Holy Trinity, Antoine Thompson, Meadowbrook, and Brandon Levy of Kingston High. Your competitors. So for the World Cup fans, information coming in. Second half has just started. It's England nil, France one. Just to remind you that earlier today, Morocco eliminated Portugal one goal to nil. So off they go. And Horace Hines of Seaforth. On the outside, it's Kingston High is Levy. In the middle, there it's written of St. Jago. And Antoine Thompson of Meadowbrook. He takes them into the straight. In the inside is Horace Hines of Seaforth. And on the inside as well is Kevin Bliss of Mona. So Mona is going to take a quick double here. Mona wins it. Kevin Bliss. 38.83, the flash time coming across. Horace Hines of Seaforth coming in for second, 38.92 the official time for the man from Mona, Kevin Bliss.
I urge all of you to enjoy your life. The precious moments you have. To spend each day with some laughter and some thought. You should have your emotions move to tears. Louis Zamperini, he's just extraordinary. His whole life was about all the lessons he learned from the resilience of the human spirit. To persevere, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't ever give up.
All right, welcome back here to live and continuous coverage of the Wesley Powell Memorial Track and Field Meet here at Excelsior High School on Stride Vision TV. Here's truly Roger Hasfall. And we are now on to the seventh heat of the girls' class three, 300 meters. Seven of 12. We have in this event Amanda Mastant of Fogo Road, Abina Pusey of Kingston High, Michaela Blackella of Gainstead, Crystal Bennett of Merle Grove, Caitlin Henry of Excelsior, Leah Francis of Woolmers, Dejane Lewis of Meadowbrook, and Elaine Phipps of Campion. Your competitors. Off they go. It's a level break. And uh, Mastan from Foger Road. <coughs> Looks as if she has made some serious inroads on the pack. There's also Francis of Woolmers running well on the outer side. Bennett of Merle Grove. Michaela Henry of Excelsior there too. Coming into the straight. Champions. Elaine Phipps. So snatching the lead on the inside now. It's Foga Road's uh, Mastant. She continues to hold that lead. Amanda Mastant of Foga Road. Coming away with the win. Gainsteads. Blackella second. And uh, coming in third. The athlete from St. Catherine High. But Amanda Mastant of Foga Road winning. The seventh section of 12 in the girls class 3, 300 meters. So far the World Cup fans, France leads 2-1. Hurricane missed a penalty for England. And they're off for this section eight. Mona's Darty running very well. Tracking her is Brianna Brown of Excelsior. So it's Mona's Darty and Brown of Excelsior. Brown comes around for Excelsior. Leaves behind her Dirty. Into the straight she comes. Brianna Brown of Excelsior leads the pack. She's all alone. Mona's dirty. We'll hold on for a second. Down to the wire they come. 42. Dirty second for Mona. And St. Catherine High takes third. 43.55. The time there for Brianna Brown of Excelsior. On to the ninth heat, the class three girls, 300 meters. Zoe Scott of Campion, Day One A. Lewis of Merle Grove, Zavi Harvey of Excelsior, Akila Ellis of St. Catherine, Tiana Tobias of Kingston High, Kayla K. Murray of Alpha, Kendra Williams of Gainstead, and Badly Mahalia of Wilmer's Girls. Your competitors in the ninth of 12. Three hundred meters, class three girls. And off they go. Ellis of St. Catherine gets up well. And she covers the field already and looks to have the lead based on a huge stagger. Here she comes around now. St. Catherine Ellis. Murray of Alpha, Williams of Gainstead, and Bradley of Woolmer's girls. Well, no Bradley of Woolmer's girls, but it's all about the young lady from St. Catherine. 
coming into the straight. Will she be challenged? Not at all. Zaffi Harvey would have provided that challenge, but that early inroads made by Ellis from St. Catherine does the trick in this race. She comes across the line, 43.24. as Kendra Williams of Gainstead runs into third. So Akilia Ellis of St. Catherine, the winner, 43.18, section 9 of 12. Ten of twelve. Ashka Thomas, six competitors. Michael and Lindo of St. Catherine already covers the field. She has passed the likes of Amanda Bailey and Shimona Foster of Alpha and Excelsior, respectively. Michael and Lindo, though, with the advantage. She comes around at the top of the curve, into the straight all alone. Michael and Lindo of St. Catherine has a huge lead on the pack. Excel says Amanda Bailey left back, possibly by about 10 meters, 15 meters. And Michael and Lindo of St. Catherine crosses the line in 44.72 ahead of Amanda Bailey of Excelsior and the St. Hughes High. Chitaro Beckford. 44.79. 10 of 11. 10 of 12, rather. 44.79, therefore, Michael and Lindo of St. Catherine. Section 11 coming out of 12. Shante Sukram, Mergro, Gianna Carby. Five go to the start. Janielia Williams of Excelsior takes charge. And she's motoring along. Her fellow Excelsior competitor, Paris Pummings, out there in lane eight. So it's an all Excelsior affair right now. It's Williams of Excelsior and Pummings also of Excelsior. The top two, they go at it. They are coming into the straight. Pummings up in eight. Williams in five. So Janelia Williams. Is coming home. She's coming home by 10 meters or more. Into the straight and into the cross line she comes. 42.52. Head of Cummings, also of Excelsior. 42.55, the flash time, which could be the leading time overall. So we await the winner officially. So the 12 of 12. Shantania Thomas of Merle Grove. Ivan Skeen Goff of Immaculate. Jody and Tate of Tatius Scolding. Four are going at it. Three at least in this actual event. Gabriel Moore, Mavis Bank. So the three athletes going at it at the moment. So, Joni and Tate of Tatia Scolding in a under-competitive race here, winning. 
As we saw the athlete from uh, um, Mavis Bank stopping down the stretch. So on to the boys, class three boys. So this is the boys class 3, 300 meters. Here comes Gergen McFarlane from Excelsior now crossing the line in this first seat. The boys class 3, 300 meters. 40.76. Good run there from the man from Excelsior, Gergi McFarlane. So off they go for the second of seven, Malik Brian of Excelsior. Also, Ray J. Reese of St. Jago, he goes to work early. He has this one wrapped up for now. Left behind is uh, Walker of Nathaniel, Nathaniel Walker of Mavis Bank. But it's all about Ray J. Reese of St. Jago. He comes into the straight. All alone. Kimon Mills of St. Catherine left back. Or rather, Fogo Road. Javon Green in second for Fogo Road. But Ray J. Reese is coming home. He's trailing away to win. In 39.17. 39.21, the official time now. For the man from St. Jago, Ray J. Reese. Theon McDermott, Seaford High, Anthony Drummond, Cornwall College, Noah Walker, Wilmers Boys, Royal Knight, Mona, K. Anthony Hall, Excelsior, Kevin McKenzie, St. Jago, Maluda, Dixon, Morant Bay, Jaden Campbell, Excelsior, and David McCarthy, Mavis Bank. Here are competitors. Yeah. So France will make progress to the semifinals of the FIFA World Cup. They come out 2-1 winners over England. And uh, the semi-final pairings are now set in stone. It will be France against Morocco and Argentina against Croatia. And that's for all the football fans.
They're off this time. Six goals to the start. And the man from St. Jago, Kevin McKenzie. He strides to the top. And he's holding the lead based on the stagger and still pulling away. The rest includes Drummond of Cornwall and Walker of Woolmers Boys, the Matt Dermott of Seaforth. But it's all about the man from St. Jago, Kevin McKenzie. He swings into the home straight at the top of the curve. Here he comes now. All alone. Kevin McKenzie of St. Jago is pulling away to win. 39.50 the flash time. Second there for Ulmer's boys, Noel Walker. And the Royal Knight of Mona for third. 39.76 is the winning time for the man from St. Jago. Kevon McKenzie of St. Jago, the winner of section three of seven. The boys class three, 300 meters. Off they go. And uh, this is four of seven. Man from Woolmers looking good. Xavier Alex Graham at the top. So it says Nehemiah Rose and uh, Michael Lee Henry unattached. And in the straight they come. Ricardo Street of Cornwall College. But on the inside of the pack is Devon Carr of Morant Bay who snatches away the lead. And he wins it for the 3.60. The man from Morant Bay, Devon Carr, for the 3.64, the official time for the man from St. Thomas. Morant Bay to be precise. Off they go, it's Jadine Hoyes of Excelsior. But Nathaniel Newton of St. Jago goes to work. He's challenged by the man from Mavis Bank, Omar Edwards. Azil Allen of Kingston College in the thick of things too. Around the top of the curve is Amari Graham of Morant Bay. Into the straight they come. The man from Kingston College, Azriel Allen. Morant Bay. Amari Graham, though. He's holding advantage and he's going to win it. He's striding away to win in 40.07 flash time. The man from Kingston College, Azriel Allen, next. 40.23 for the man from Morant Bay. So it's a quick double for Morant Bay. 
Devon Carr in the f preceding heat. And now Amari Graham winning the five, fifth of seven. Boys class three, 300 meters. Next event, Ryan Ford, Mavis Bank, Nevon Thompson, Seaforth, Sajane Knight of Mona, Roshane Richard, St. Jago, Tejon Ricketts of Fogo Road, Tavon Campbell of Cornwall, Jamar Green of Unattached, and Michael Graham Excelsior, your competitors, order 16th of seven. So off and running. And Excel says Michael Graham at the top. All alone. Seaforce Nevon Thompson. But it's all about the man from Excelsior. Michael Graham out there in the outside lane. And has distanced himself away from the pack. He comes into the straight all alone. Michael Graham of, of Excelsior. C4 Nevon Thompson in second. They close on him in second. But no doubt here comes Michael Graham. 40.03 the flash time. The man from Fogo Road comes across for second. Tejan Ricketts ahead of Nevon Thompson of C4 High. But Michael Graham, 40.09. The official time in the 6 of 7 boys class 3. 300 meters. So it's a final heat, 7 of 7. And the man from St. Jago, Roshan Ramsey, goes to work. He is holding the advantage at the 150 mark. Woolmer's boys, Omari Thomas up there as well. And uh, along with the Mona's. So into the straight they come. Maish falls from Mona. Into the straight. It's Roshan Ramsey of St. Jago. On the outside is Mona's Forbes. Wilmer's boys, Omari Thomas, giving him a fight. And they are coming down to the wire. And uh, Roshan Ramsey takes it. Ahead of Wilmer's boys, Omari Thomas. Roshan Ramsey wins 41.71. First of 16 class 4 girls, 300 meters. Jada Harris of Wilmers, she takes the early initiative. Tracking her is this Hornsby of Excelsior, as well as Davison of Morant Bay. Those are the top three. Wilmers girls, Jada Harris, though, she holds the advantage. Behind her is Hornsby of Excelsior and Davison of Morant Bay. 
Into the straight they come. Those are your top three. J.D. Harris of Woolmer's Girls. On the inside, we see Alpha's Imani Crawford comes into the picture. But it's all about the girl from Woolmer's Hero Circle. Jada Harris wins 46.92 ahead of Excelsior's Hornsby, Sashel Hornsby. And third place going there to Imani Crawford of Alpha. Section 2 of 16, girls class 4, 300 meters. <coughs> Off they go, 7. And Woolmas again, Ciara Williams, she takes charge. Holy Trinity's McNeil is there along with the law of St. Catherine. But Ciara Williams of Woolmas though, she is large and in charge. Closing in on the inside there is Richards, St. Richards, Lodford, Shahi Mullings of Excelsior. Into the straight, they are coming. Ciara Williams of Woolmer's Girls. She's all alone. And here she comes now. She will win it. 46.61. Ahead of Lodford from St. Richards. And uh, Jenica Rowe of St. Catherine, she runs on for the third spot. So the winner here is Ciara Williams of Woolmers, 47.18 at the flash time. So section three coming up. Gabriella Graham. Alexia Knight of Alpha. Amelia Blake of Mona. Anthony Bart of Woolmer's Girls. Cordell McFarlane of Seaforth. Daisha Moody of Excelsior. Kalisha Cole of Harbour View. And Shaboy Gordon of Flankers. Off they go. Section 3 of 16. And uh, Anthony Bart of Woolmers, she goes to work early. And she holds the lead based on the stagger coming around. And she passes Daisha Moody of Excelsior and uh, Blake of Mona, along with Gabriella Graham of Excelsior. So Woolmers girls, Anthony Bart continues to hold the advantage. At the top of the curve, into the straight, she's coming all alone. Anthony Barrett, Woolmer's girls, looking to have this one swap. On the outside running well is Swaby of Flankers. But it's all about the young lady from Woolmer's. Anthony Barrett crosses the line. And uh, tussle there for second between Kalisha Cole and... Uh, Against that, Gabriella Graham. But there was a clear winner here. Woolmer's girls, um, Anthony Barrett. Section 3 of 16. The girls class 4, 300 meters.
This is a Strad Vision TV Athletic Series. We're here at the Wesley Powell Memorial Track and Field Meet here at Excelsior High School. The first track and field meet of the season 2022-2023. And uh, we are here witnessing some of Jamaica's future stars in the making. Off they go. This is the fourth heat. Winner Rose, Chavel Brown. She's doing well. Outside of her is Alexis Shaw of Seaforth. Along with Thompson of Excelsior. What is Seaforth's Alexis Shaw? At the top of the curve, comes around. Shaw of C4. Gordon of St. Hughes in second. But it's all about Alexa Shaw of C4 High. 45. And second. Going across. Second there, Gordon of St. Hughes. But no doubt there was Alexa Shaw winning the fourth of 16, the girls, class four, 300 meters. Fifth of 16, Olivia Jose of Jose of St. Richards. Tashai, Tashani Arm, Strong of St. Catherine. Sanai Williams of Holy Rosary. Shamika Williams of Harborview. Natasha Barrack of Kingston Technical. Chloe Taylor of Harborview. Charlo Barnes of Excelsior. And Kyla Francis of Gainstead. We are competitors for the fifth of 16 girls, class 4, 300 meters.
Off they go. And uh, Excelsis, Cardilla Gabidon, holds the advantage. Alia Ross of Alpha tracks her. On the outside, it's Graham of St. Patrick's and Nicola Nelson of Winwood Road. But it's Gabidon of Excelsior. She continues to lead. Coming into the straight. Waxstaff of Mona is up there as well. What Excelsior is uh, Gabidon. She is holding on. And Gabidon of Excelsior is pushing to the line. Gabidon of Excelsior gone across the line in front. 47.07 is a flash time. For the young lady from Excelsior. Cordella Gabidon. So on to 7 of 16. Girls class 4, 300 meters. Etana Smith of Excelsior. Aisha Howell of Alpha. Paris Agree of St. Hughes. Lativa Hamilton of Mona. Nikalia Denick of Seaforth Primary. Shanice Richards of Papine. Nikalia Francis of Harbour View. Terry Baxter, Tasha Golding. And Sonia Campbell of Honor Bay. Here are competitors. Seven of sixteen, girls class four, three hundred meters. A loaded field here for this event. Off they go. So, Mona's uh, Latifa. Hamilton, Richards, St. Richards, or oh, rather Papines, Shanice Richards. And Sejri Paris of St. Hughes. Coming around at the top. On the outside there. Tariq Baxter of Tatius Golding. Into the straight. Nakalia Francis of Harbour View. Shani Trishas of Papine. On the inside is Segri Paris of St. Hughes. And uh, Etana Smith of Excelsior now snatches the lead. On the infield and wins it. 47.63 the flash time here for the winner. Off they are for the eighth of 16. And there are five competitors in this race. Delisa Buckley of Holy Rosie looks as if she holds the advantage. Gabriel Church of St. Catherine out there as well. And uh, Sajay Davis of St. Patrick's. On the outer lanes. Coming through as well is. Arakisa Brooks of Excelsior. Into the straight they come. 
Treasure of St. Catherine. And she's chiding away. Gabriel Treasure of St. Catherine is going to win. 45.27. St. Hughes, Imri Small comes in for second. And Excelsius, Orakisa, Orakisa Brooks, third. We still have more results to give you from some of the events that have took place earlier. But we're on to the ninth of 16, girls class four, 300 meters. Loaded field here for the ninth event is Shower Brown of Rockets. But there goes Seaforth Allen's Ashley. And uh, Woolmers girls, Adriana Rodriguez. Rodriguez of Woolmers. She's striding at the top. Harborview, Shamoy Hines up there. PW Conquerors, Fairclough. So into the straightaway they are coming. Wilma's girls, Ariana Rodriguez. She's comfortable in the victory today. 47.71, the flash time. She crosses the line, falling to the turf and back on her feet. So good evening work there for... The young lady from Woolmers, Ariana Rodriguez. Kitara Davis of Campion in one for the section, the section 10 of 16. Clara's class four, 300 meters. Kitara Davis, Campion, Shensel Stewart Excelsior. Shahini Rose of St. Richard's, Amanda Barrett of PW Conquerors, Chelsea Campbell of Alpha, Kian Constable Winward Road, Isabella Arscott Immaculate, Shanoya Evans of Harbour View, and Daniela Clark of St. Patrick's. So off they go. Excelsior Shensa Stewart closes in on the cap. And based on the stagger, might have had the lead at the top of the 200 meters mark. Out there is Immaculate Isabella Arscott. All alone out there at the top of the curve. She comes around in the middle. It is Alpha's Chelsea Campbell. Into the straight. Clark of St. Patrick's. Here comes Stuart of Excelsior. Shensa Stuart now. On the outside there is St. Patrick's of uh, St. Patrick's Daniela Clark. And Daniela Clark of St. Patrick is gonna win it. She does so just ahead of Shensa Stuart, Chenille Stuart of Excelsior, and uh, Chelsea Campbell of Alpha. 46.74, the flash time.
for 11 of 16. Kid owner Hamilton of St. Hughes. He's holding an advantage beside her. Miller running unattached. And uh, Hamilton of St. Hughes is going to win it. 46.92. Having endured a keen tussle with Adlam of Harbour View. Twelve of sixteen, girls class four, three hundred meters. Gabriel Bailey, Holy Rosary, Azaria Harris of Alpha, Tahele Robinson of Harborview, Wane Campbell of St. Hughes, Marisa Senior of Seaforth, Shelley and Louis St. Catherine, Savannah Green of St. Richards, Ashara Creary of Woolmers Girls, Amanda Hall of Flankers. Those are your competitors listed for this twelfth of sixteen. And away they go. St. Hughes Campbell gets up well. Seaforce Senior running well too. And Woolmer's girls Ashara Creary on the outside now takes charge. So the young lady from Holy Rosary up there as well. But on the outside is Woolmer's girls Ashara Creary now. Creary, Marisa Senior of Seaforth. Coming into the straight. Woolmer's girls, Ashara Creary, on the outside. She holds the advantage. Seaforth of... Marissa Senior of Seaforth will hold on for second. But Creary now crosses the line for Woolmer's girls for the 5.95, the flash time there. For the young lady from Woolmer's girls, Ashara Creary, ahead of Marissa Senior of Seaforth High. Next event on the track, coming thick and fast, Shanika Reed of Harbour View, Daniel Farrier of Seaforth, Donelia Green of St. Hughes, Charlisa Wright of Holy Rosary, Janelle Hamilton of Seaforth, Antoinette Johnson of Excelsior, Clemoya Roberts of Morant Bay, Caria King, Kingston Technical, and Brianna Bailey, PW Conquerors, your athletes listed. On their marks. Off they go. So it is right of Holy Rosary up there. Kingston Technicals, Kara King. And the Faria of Seaforth up there as well. So Kingston Technicals, Kara King. And Clemona Roberts of Morant Bay up there. So, it's all about Carrier King for the moment from Kingston Technical. Snatching the lead on the inside though, is the athlete from Holy Rosary. Gabriel Bailey. Shanika Reed of Harbour View. She snatches the win. 47.87. The young lady from Harbour View winning. So the mixture with the girls from primary schools and the junior high schoolers, class four. Fourteen of sixteen, the girls class four, three hundred meters. Phaedria Coates of Lanka and Shantiwe Crawford, Seaforth. Dorondra Ferguson Harbourview, Michaela Alexander St. Catherine, 
Shakima Barnes, Holy Rosary, Beyonce Kenyon, Seaforth, Shante Salmon St. Patrick's, and Shamoy Gentles of St. Hughes. Your athletes listed for the 14th of 16. Off they go a full field. And uh, running very well is St. Patrick's Salmon. She's running very well. On the inside, though, is Ferguson of Harborview, along with Michaela Alexander of St. Catherine High. St. Patrick's Ashanti Salmon still looks good. Alexander of St. Catherine in the middle. Ferguson of Harborview. Still Ashanti Salmon of St. Patrick's, though. Can she hold on? She is looking good. Closing. On the inside is St. Catherine's uh, Alexander. Still coming down to the wire now and coming through to upset the upper cart. Ashanti Ray Crawford, Seaforth, 48 flat. So, longtime leader Ashanti Salmon was overhauled in the final few meters. And it's a victory there for the athlete from Seaforth. This is section 15 of 16. Rihanna Scott of Gainstead. Khadija Harrison of Excelsior. Zaisha Walker, Anato Bay. Akele Atkinson Flankers. Kalena Allen of Morant Bay. Shanoya Harris of Harborview. Alana Aarons of St. Hughes. Kalindra Brown of St. Catherine. And Venicia Pourier of St. Richard's. They're off. Six facing the starter here. Brown of St. Catherine. Goes to work. Catherine. And coming into the straight now. Brown of St. Catherine. All alone. Rena Scott of Gainstead in second for the moment. But Kalinja Brown of St. Catherine takes the event for the 8.77. Close between Harrison and Scott. Harrison of Excelsior, Scott of Gainstead, with no doubt about the winner. The athlete from St. Catherine High, Kalinja Brown. Off they go for the final. Girls class three, 300 meters. 16 of 16. And Excel says Tony and Davis is already having the advantage. The Holy Rosary is Tracy and Barnes up there too. They are coming around. Sutani Miller running unattached out there. But it's all about Tony and Davis of Excelsior. Tracking her is Barnes of Holy Rosary. Barnes of Excelsior. Hoga Rhodes, uh, Ferron there. Rock Halls, Rihanna Scott. Tracy and Rowe. 
or rather Barnes of Holy Rose taking second. But Tony and Davis of Excel to the winner for the 7.476. First of 12 boys, 300 meters, and already Daniel Evans of Excelsior takes charge. Seaforth's Jane Allen and Javon Patterson of Woolmer's boys. But the man from Excelsior, Daniel Evans, or rather Nicara Johnson of St. Jago now, with the advantage. He looks good, coming into the straight. Nicario Johnson of St. Jago. Here he comes. Hole leaving behind him, Andrew Loney of Holy Trinity. Winning in 44.62. And coming in third, there is the man from Seaforth, Jade Allen. So this is Marquis Page of St. Jago. All alone. Head of the man from Cornwall College. Shavoy Green, 41.83. Are you standing by? All right, welcome once again here. We are here at the West De Paul Memorial Track and Field Meet. And uh, we are seeing the, sec the third section of the boys class four, 300 meters. And that is Shenyon McLeod of Kingston College winning that event. We have with us Dr. Wade Marr, president of the Vector Technology Institute. They are a sponsor of the West De Paul Memorial meet here. Good afternoon to you, sir. Yes, man. Uh, good afternoon. It's a cloudy, but it's <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I mean, cool down, you know. Yes, yes. All right, Vector Technology Institute. Tell us about um, this organization. Uh, well, Vector is is a educational institution, uh, part of the university systems, 
in Jamaica. Um, IT is our special specialization. So um, we, as far as we are concerned, we are the best in institution for IT. Wonderful. Ah. So you're a sponsor of this event. Tell us about your involvement overall. Well, I'm a, a member of the, of the DASH committee, which of course is part of the, the whole management um, um, organization of, of, of the event. And been there for, for a while, but I'm also an Excelsior old boy, you know, so, um, so of course, you know, you, you know how that works. And, um, and, 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 and an old athlete as well. So, you know, um, so we have to support and I've always been supporting um, the, the meet, you know. So, because we see it as a major part of the development the and the, re the rebirth of track and field at, at Excelsior. You know, as an alumni of another institution, I'm kind of happy when I hear that Excelsior has been doing some work because, you know, you're one of two schools that have, would have been a winner at Boys, boys and Girls Athletic Championships. So to hear that, you know, you are doing well in terms of coming together, trying to have a rebirth here at Excelsior, it all goes well for track and field in the village. We know that Excelsior produced a lot of outstanding athletes over the years. Um, go on to represent Jamaica, Olympic finalists, medalists, and so on. Um, talk to me generally, though, about, you know, what, what's the hope for, you know, your institution, continued involvement with Excelsior? Well, I mean, it's, it's more out of love and um, the fact that we are, you know, we share much of the, the, much of, um, the sentiments that you have, you have shared. Because, I mean, track and field is such a, a, a great um, element in, term, in, in terms of ensuring that the, the school itself regain um, its notoriety, you know, and, and so on. Track and feel, track and feel is, 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 is such an, um, a major element. So, you know, regardless of whatever Vector did in terms of our specialization, track and feel has to be part of it, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, that, I think in a, in a nutshell is what, what I would describe in terms of um, our, our whole sentiments. And, and I also mentioned that, I mean, you know, the, the entire founders of, of Vector Technology Institute are also, uh, you know, <laughs> alumni members yeah, of Excelsior. So, explain for us, you know, a little more about um, your institution in terms of, you know, your curriculum and, um, you know, the type of students that, 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 that you take and uh, f for futuristic purposes, of course. Yeah. No, no and, and, and thanks for that. Um, you know, the, the institution, um, as part of the university system, um, we, we matriculate, uh, you know, the, the same sort of students would go to a UE or a UTEC. Um, so we are, we are part of the same system. Um, it's just that, as I said, the focus has been on information technology. Um, and we, we tend to, to uh, we, we consider ourselves a, car a career college. So in other words, we're not just training you, but training you and learning um, in terms of learning sake. But for, for you to be able to end up in a, in a rewarding career in IT, and that is our main purpose. Um, so we're not like, I would say we're not like a research college or anything like that. We are a career college, you know, so that's our that main part of it. How long have you been around? Uh, close to 30 years. Um, so, okay. and as one of the founders, they can actually tell, you know. <laughs> so, uh, and, and, and our, you know, we are very close to the industry because we all, we all came out of IT ourselves and then decided that we would like to teach what we knew, you know, and that was the whole basis of how we started. And, and so we are very close to the IT industry. Um, you know, everything, everything, everything and all and everybody we speak to are connected to the IT industry. So, um, you know, that, that, that is a great advantage for us. So being part of the industry in, in that we specialize in, you know. And the whole IT industry has grown exponentially, monumentally. I mean, at, this, at 30 years ago, when you talk about IT, 
and in comparison to now, it's almost like chalk and cheese. Definitely so. It has exploded. Uh, because once, as you mentioned, you were, you were either hardware or software. But now that, that the, the, the different areas have exploded so much that even some of the things that we thought were like social stuff have now become uh, careers. You know, so even even when you hear that persons used to play a lot of games, it, it's it's an industry that has you know that's worth billions of dollars. You know, so um, IT IT is part of every 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 any part of life you are in. IT is there, you know, and and is probably the foundation of much. Because even look here, look at, at at the systems here that you have. The whole issue of you know streaming and you know and all of that. It's all technology, you know, and it's all IT, you know. So, um, yeah, it's, it's all part of our, of our life. It actually changes how we live as well. <laughs> all right, Dr. Wade, any additional things you might want to leave, leave with Dr. Wade so Marr? Any additional things you might want to leave with us? Well, um, you know, in, ter in terms of, in terms of the, 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 this track and field, um, um, going best of all, and, and talking about the, the meat itself, um, you know, we are hoping that the center. meat will just continue to grow and grow. And um, yes, third. we want to get back to the point where at, sure at champs, we are, you know, I'm not sure which here. school you are from, but, oh, from GSC, yeah, right. So we, we want to make sure that we are sure back at, at the forefront. So we have a little way to go, right? But every every day we 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 make strides. So every day we get we find that we are we are we are getting more and more um, the, 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 the 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 whole the whole the whole support that we are getting um, from from you know old old students old well old students, alumni. Um, it's it's incredible just the fact that track and field is back, right? Because once, I'll tell you, I mean, uh, recently folks would, 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 you know, come to the stadium and not hear Excelsior, right? Now we are back where we are supposed to be. Exactly, exactly. And in a lot of expectations. Yeah, man. All right. no pleasure speaking with you, sir. Yeah, man, and, and my pleasure as well. And all the best. Thank you. Same to you, sir. All right, all right. Dr. Wade Marr, he is the president of the Vector Technology Institute. So, of course, he's an Excelsior alumni and they're a sponsor of the Wesley Powell Memorial Track and Field Meet here at Excelsior High School. The event is on in earnest and we are still having events on the track. So, we turn our attention back to the track with the completion of the boys' class four 300 meters.
asking a representative from EFAST, please report to the presentation area. Check one two. How to check one two? Oh. Use this. So this now, this now work again. How long this is? Come on, go back out this one. Come on, go back beside this one. We can't see the time. All right, welcome back here for live and continuous coverage of the Wesley Powell Memorial track and field meet right here on Stride Vision TV. And we are down to the mixed relays. So it's a mixed race event. And uh, it's a four by 300 meters. And uh, we are at the relay is the final events on today's schedule we have pw conquerors rock hall flankers harbor view st richard's rock hall and seaforth so 
the girls start. Boys, it will be girls, boys, girls, boys. Four by 300 meters relays for primary schools. And the PW Conquerors out there in lane one. And Harbour View is running very well. St. Richard's, Rock Hall there too. So, still. Harbour View with the lead, St. Richard's in second. And it's now onto the boys section. The second leg, 4 by 300 meters. Harbour View with the lead. Harbour View. Out of lane five. In the fifth lane. Out there in lane seven is Rock Hall. PW Conquerors. C fourth primary out there in lane eight. But Harbour View with the lead. A big one that is too. So Harbour View primary has the lead. The Second leg. Closing in is Rock Hall. Flankers too. So it's still Harbour View. So coming now with the third leg. The girls are on track. Harbour View tearing up the track now. Continues to lead Harbour View. St. Richards. Back in second. Flankers, Rock Hall. Harbour View comes under pressure now. This looks to be St. Richard's primary now. Driving forward. St. Richard's. Drives forward. St. Richard's, Rock Hall in second. So it's all about St. Richard's primary now. Still St. Richard's. And the final change is about to be made. And it's St. Richards with a big lead. They lead by about 20 meters. As night draw it nigh, it's still St. Richards. They are going to win a big race here. St. Richards primary. Is going to win this event with over 100 meters remaining. Long time leader Harbour View left way back now. Here comes St. Richards. Rock Hall will drive into second. But it's going to be victory for St. Richards. Primary. In this mixed under 11 event the next event on the track will be the open girls four by three and the final event will be the boys four by 300 meters four by 300 meter relay open for girls is next on track three heats to come for that event and then we close with a four by 300 meter relay open for boys So the next event will be the heats, or rather the four by 300 meters for girls. They have three heats. And I'm not certain if it's gonna be three as it would be a good idea to merge all events. as we are not yet seeing any activity as it is getting quite dark here at the Courtney Walsh Oval Excelsior the Wesley Powell meet
This event was sponsored by We move now to the class two boys. Event sponsored by e -Cons. And to present to the medals, we have uh, Richards, Earl Richards, director. The bronze medalist, the mark of pennies. Receiving the silver medal, Jordan Fitzgerald. So would, we I use three cameras. And no, my man. The gold medal, Elijah Campbell. Even with this, no, this is good. We don't get no buzz now. Clean and nice with this. So the penultimate race, four by 300 meters open. We have Pepin, we have Meadowbrook, St. Hughes, Excelsior, Alpha, Seaford, and St. Catherine High. So it's Excelsior. And it's St. Catherine battling. On this the second leg. Still Excelsior with St. Catherine. They are battling for the top two positions. So it's going to be a, a classic battle between Excelsior and St. Catherine. So St. Catherine now holds the lead. Excelsior in second. This could be a blanket finish. Here comes Alpha. Woolmer snatches into fourth now. Ahead of Papin. So the final change is about to be made now. St. Catherine High. Excelsior tries to close. St. Catherine and Excelsior. They are going at it head for leather. St. Catherine holds the lead though. Excelsior is closing. It's going to be a blanket finish. Excelsior on the inside. 
St. Catherine on the outside. Excelsior now comes to the straight. St. Catherine holding on. Excelsior closing. St. Catherine holding on. Excelsior still closing. St. Catherine is holding on though. And St. Catherine is going to win it. Wonderful victory there for the St. Catherine High team. So Anata Bay and Michael absent, so two Tasha Golding, only Excelsior St. Hughes, Woolmers, and Seaforth in heat number two. Are we ready? Yes? On your marks. Set. And clean your way they go now. Excelsior, St. Hughes, Wilmer, Seaforth. So Wilma is going well, so to see fourth. Look at Excelsior in lane one. Only four teams on track for the second heat. Manpower and maintenance services sponsored for by 300 meter open for girls. Young men, step back for me, please. Young men, you have to step back. Step back, step way back. Wilmers. Step back, gentlemen. Wilmers, Excelsior, Seaforth. St. Hughes. Second change to be made. Second change made good now for Wilmers. Yeah. 
So Wilma is holding on to the lead for the second heat in the manpower and maintenance services. Girls for my 300 meter relay open. Excelsior in second. So it's Wilma's Excelsior. C fourth. St. Hughes in fourth. The final change to be made. Made good now for Wilmers. So Wilmers has the lead in heat number two. It's Wilmers who will take heat two in the four by 300 meter relay open for girls. Excelsior comes through for second. Gentlemen in charge of the microphones, kindly come to the announcer's area. The gentleman in charge of the microphones, kindly come now to the announcer's area. The final heat now for the 4x300 meter relay open for girls. Lane two, Wilmers. Lane three, St. Catherine. Lane four, Alpha. Lane five, Excelsior. All St. Jago athletes kindly meet at the bus. The bus will be leaving in one minute. All St. Jago athletes kindly meet at the bus. The bus will be leaving in one minute. Fifty seconds to go. <laughs> Wilmers, are we ready? On your marks. Set. Clean away now for the final heat. Girls, four by 300 meter relay open. Wilmers, St. Catherine, Alpha, and Excelsior are on track. I like the lights at the back. Thank you all so much. First change to be made momentarily. St. Catherine with the lead. Excelsior in second, Wilmers in third, St. Hughes in fourth. Make that alpha, sorry.
Second change to be made at the 200 meter mark. St. Catherine still with the lead. Excelsior in second, Wilmers in third. Young lady stop running. Young lady at the stop. Kindly remove from the field, young lady. You know that's not allowed. Thank you. So the final change to be made momentarily. It's St. Catherine with the lead. Four by 300 meter relay open. The final heat for the girls. Manpower and maintenance services. A big thank you for your kind sponsorship of this event. St. Catherine making their way home. St. Catherine takes the final heat. Excelsior coming through for second. Woolmers will take third. And Alpha comes through for fourth. That does it for the girls in their 4 by 300 meter relay open. Event 41 sponsored by Man. Golding in lane four, St. George's lane five, Seaforth lane six. Excelsior, Holy Trinity, St. George's, and Seaforth. On your marks. Set. Stand up. Turn it that way. Yes. Eh? Did you notice that we run all the wires before you got here this morning? All the cables. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What I'm saying to you is that we had a whole different set of cables. So Moran Bay yes, runs out of lane the seven. You should have carried the stand because we didn't say we have the stand. This morning, Mr. Wade, what happened to the stand? You know, stand the car, Barbara. St. George is in five, C4 is in six. Ja, ja. Moran Bay lane seven. I want to know one light over this or two.
on your marks. Set. Clean your way now for the penultimate race here at the Wesley Powell Track and Field Meet 2022. This was the 19th staging. We say thanks to all our sponsors who helped to make this meet possible. Excelsior, Holy Trinity, St. George's, Seaforth, and Moran Bay are on track. Change made. Looks to be St. George's. Final change to be made. It's Excelsior who will take heat one for the boys four by 300 meter relay open. St. George's takes second, C4 third, Morant Bay fifth, fourth. Holy Trinity fifth. Yes, sir. Final heat now for the four by 300 meter relay open for boys. Lane one, Meadowbrook. Lane two, Kingston High. Lane four, 